Dude, careful. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> Realist Podcast. Welcome to the You're Here Podcast. This is episode 128 of the You're Here Podcast. Find the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube with video, anchor.fm, www.youarepodcast.com. We cannot afford it. Hey, man. Come on. I want to bring it to your official sponsor of the You're Here Podcast, Formosa Hot Sauce. Formosasauce.com. Hey, 30 years making this sauce a family recipe by Julio's grandmother, and he brought it to you guys. If you want a healthy, tasty it's the best hot sauce i've ever had in my life dude but i'm vegan hey man it's all right it's vegan is it hey it's dairy free but i'm gluten hey, free dude it's can... gluten free oh it's everything God. free okay and it's probably the healthiest sauce you'll ever have and the tastiest i'm not speaking out of my ass all right this tastes better than any hot sauce i've ever had it's not your average top teal cholua frank <laughs> frank's hot sauce this is like a nice aioli sauce Don't that you can put on anything <laughs> And honestly, I think it's a great product, and I'm happy. That We've all got it in our in our fridges. Go get y'all some. Come on, try hey. that Chipotle. Out. That's that's a little insider tip. Let's go. I like the roasted red pepper, man. Okay, okay. The roasted pepper. Okay. We got a whole mix. Okay. Hey, there's a bunch more. Let's get more. it. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. Hey, we got a guest today. Welcome back. Welcome home. Our first guest ever. First is guest back for is 128. Back. What up, Carl Fernandez is on the show. Welcome back, brother. Carl. Thank you for having welcome, me, boys. Welcome. Yes, great to be back. It's been a while. I think the last time we were here or I was here was in February or yes. March of 2020, right before the pandemic started. Right before everything Right went before everything went to down. garbage. Yeah. Now. And thanks for bringing these beers, man. A little District, District 96. District, District 96. 96. Very good. New City, New York. Nice and tasty. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this brewery. These are very good. John, you're doing a great job. Kill this it. is, this is. It's just it's Northeast IPA Essential Juice. It's called Essential Juice. Oh yeah, it's I in, love yeah. it's juicy and if, oh, it's amazing. What is it? Is it like what's the fruit in this thing? So they <laughs> use uh, well, it's hops. So in the hops, there's a lot of flavor of the citrus. I get some kind yeah. of citrus. In it's that. like a juice. Yeah, it's man. literally like orange juice. Yeah. That's what these yeah. kind of beers, uh, New England IPAs, Northeast this is IPAs. My kind of thing, dude. I like this kind. Yeah, of Yeah, like West Coast IPAs are more hoppy. They're more yes. dank. They taste like yes. pine. You know, what I mean? they have a bit more floral yeah, yeah, yeah. essence. Yeah. New England though is, is definitely in my alley in it. With what got me into craft beer and stuff. So Hell yeah, Word up, yeah. Dude. But yeah, no. Thank you guys for having me again. It's great. It's been a while. You know, it's, it's been a, a minute, man. It's yeah. been a minute. And and last time we talked, I wanted you to tell Mikey about this. You went through some shit. Yeah, man. Yes, I, I did. You yeah. went through. You went through a a pretty harrowing time after the podcast. After we saw yeah, you, man. essentially, right? It like wasn't right too long after that. Yeah, I mean, well. You know, it was about nine, Couple oh, months. Yeah, 10 months, I 10 think. 10 months? Yeah. yeah I, I had COVID. And, in the and middle of quarantine, it, it like it got you. It snuck Yeah, you. dude. It got it got me right when the vaccinations were rolling. <laughs> dude, of like, course. What, <laughs> oh, what luck is you, that? You make it through the whole thing, no vaccines. I was double masking <laughs> before the <laughs> CDC said to double mask. I was like being Damn. careful. I was only seeing people like, you know, I was yeah. doing the whole social. I was doing everything yeah, right. Yeah. And I still got it. Damn, dude. and that was in uh, February of this. But it ran year. through your crib. It's like it, 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 you couldn't control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, my dad had it. My brother had it. So it wasn't just me. Mm. And it's not like I got it from like clubbing. Like, not, <laughs> you didn't yeah, go to the, the yeah. fucking boat parties or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't go down to Florida. I missed my flight. I couldn't attend. Oh my them. god! Yeah. I remember yeah. seeing all the you remember down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me so too. Jealous. On the sandbar, Florida was oh nuts. Florida was crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's like, and you know what the worst part is? I'm like, none of you motherfuckers are gonna get COVID. Like, and they're not none of you. <laughs> none of you are gonna get it. You're just not gonna get <laughs> it. Carry it. Just gonna hold it. Me, on the other hand, Mister, I stay in my room. Yeah, like playing Warzone all day. Like I just like, what am I doing? Like, and I get it. We were squatting up. For we were minute. squatting yeah, up man. for a while, and I'm, you know, the opportunity is still there. It's still there. It's, it's always still there. there. It's I always know there. we're all kind of busy. We know for one person, it's not, <laughs> and, that's, and that's Dave. I had to kick. The I know, and I respect that, man. I respect, I respect that too. I was that's unhealthy funny, with it, dude. I was unhealthy with it. Yeah, I was very unhealthy with it. Once you, you we know, were all unhealthy. I, I think once that, you get the fifty, maybe because you'll come you know back. why, dude. Here's the thing. At ninety eight, and you grow. No, no. <laughs> Here's the thing, bro. Like my thing with it was, and I've talked about this a lot. With my therapist. It's, it became like my vehicle to like feel connected and like I have friends still and like I'm accomplishing something because I was doing fucking nothing in real life. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah. 
I was doing nothing. So like yeah. a win in Warzone to me was like you had to get it. Like that was it. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was watching videos of other people doing the shit with streamers, everything. Yeah, yeah, what guns? How do we modify? How do we play as a gang? Like Yeah. What what is my role? Yeah. Like I was going yeah. nuts. Yeah. yeah. I was going nuts. I was down the rabbit hole. And yeah. uh I just needed a I needed a nice Yeah. Lock you it had, up. You had fun. I had a good time. You had fun. I had the best time. Yeah. Well, the game's dude, still there, and it's fun, and, it, and it's in the, it's actually in a really great state. <laughs> like it literally everything's <laughs> balanced, dude. dude I'm, I'm literally tell, dude. I'm the Krig, right the Krig is I'm amazing right now, dude. It's, okay, I've been I'm waiting sorry. on the Krig to be amazing, dude. It's, dude, it's, it's so good now. It's literally meta, like close to meta. Oh, goodness. we won't go any further into this. I, I know. Okay, yeah, yeah. You got. I'm sweating. I'm thinking about it. But you were talking about it being unhealthy. It's an unhealthy habit. You know what? I had a lot of unhealthy habits, like leading up through the pandemic, and um. Yeah, because you're, you're. I mean, you're lean and trim right now, dog. Dude, like you're, yeah. you're. The, Car the, looks good. The trimmest, really good. Most fit I've seen you since I met you this in is, college. This is the lightest I've been since high school. Like it's, it's been like yeah. you know, I definitely I wish, have not. Man. Yeah. It's, Do you walk around with no shirt sometimes now? Because you're like, fuck yeah. it. No, but I probably I wanted to today. Come on, bro. You know, I went. To, Why didn't you come in here with no shirt? Yeah, know, you were I running today. Yeah. yeah, I saw you on this on the uh, the the video, the uh, story, Instagram, yeah. Instagram story. It was uh, yeah, I went there. You know, it, and like it's like it, it's funny. Like if you go back, like seven months and it's like if i showed myself that i'd be like who the hell do you think yeah. you are who who do you think you are <laughs> getting up at 7 a.m to go on running. a run yes sir in 80 degree weather i, I saw the story i'm like dude where's the beer <laughs> i sent you a picture of that after I'm yeah like, come out yeah. come, come because you're coming here because you're coming here yeah i was like well dave wants me to come on the I gotta come on get come on now. Now. tradition but um yeah, it was funny because uh, yeah, I was running. You know, for anyone who, you know watching this later, it, it's a really hot day. <laughs> oh, dude, it's, it's like been 100 like hundreds. Out. Yeah, but I went in the morning to do the run before it got that hot because I knew and it's gonna rain supposedly from tomorrow to like Sunday. Yeah. So we have like four days of straight thunderstorms. So oh, I wanted to make sure that I got my oh, outdoor. Man, I've been time. enjoying running outside before this fucking heat wave too. Yeah. yeah. So we're locked in for four days. Yeah. So okay. and, you know, so like I, I was like, like the like, treadmill thing, bro. Do you? I don't like treadmills, yeah, man. Yeah. I went to a gym, you know. I had a gym membership. Like you like it? I don't like them. I like it if you're trying to evaluate like performance because they got all the metrics and stuff on there that you can easily see and and you know. But like, I don't know. There's something about just running in in yeah, nature, you know, or just like anywhere else. I like you know the I mean? like. Um, I'm like, all right, five miles, and like I look at the time. I'm That's like, a minute going down, minute going down. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you I'm like do that? it faster? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I fu- I, I, I got to do a song, and it's got to be the same fucking song. Oh, dude, I queue same up. three songs. I queue up. And so, I could count. I know how many minutes each fucking song <laughs> is. And I'm down. like, so it's like, this is eight minutes because it's the third song just rounded off. I'm yeah. Like, I'm almost there. Yeah. There you go. You know, 20 more minutes to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just got this like Garmin watch. So, like, Ooh, I've been like, yeah. doing like, you know, they give you like some pre-planned workouts and stuff. Yeah. It's nice, Ooh, but it's great. Okay. You know what it is? It's just... Having metrics is such a yes. big thing. It is, it is yes. such a big thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, or like steps. Yeah, like, yeah, all the yeah, steps yeah. stuff. Like, y'all know your iPhone can do it. And, you know, I had an iPhone stuff, but like, I just wanted something that like could like, you know, just give me some numbers to yeah. know, like, gauge where I'm Absolutely. at. And so, like, and now I'm just like, you know, I'm that type of guy where I'm just like, when I, when I, when I see something and I'm like, I, I kind of understand the data of it, I'm like, how do we change that? <laughs> yeah. How do we improve? Yeah. How do we you improve? Know, yeah. In filmmaking, in, in video editing, yep. audio production, anything. It's the same concept, but you you know, and, and it's like, yeah, you know, you, your typical stereotypical image of like a fit guy is, you know, this buff like gym yeah, bro. But like, yeah. dude, I was listening to a podcast and it had Kamel Nanjiani and he was when he, you know, um, he's in Immortals, the Marvel thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was from Silicon Valley. Yeah. You know, he was Dinesh in Silicon he's Valley. Hysterical. He's so funny. And the big sick. Um, mm. which is also a great movie um he was talking about it, he was like yeah i never was into working out because that stuff you know it was like such a bro thing to do and he was like you know what but then when i learned it was like it's one of the nerdiest things you can get into oh, yeah. like transfer sure. yeah. so like he was like that's what got me hooked and that's what you know and if you see his body now he's like he's crazy shredded. Yeah. shredded he's like obviously it's good and it's a good thing he acknowledged the fact that the studio paid for all that. Yeah, yeah. He had a ton of help. It's not something you can easily do. He yeah. made sure to like tweet that. Like, yeah, like hey, this yeah. is not something like yeah, the, not average, the person. average person's going to not eat pizza for a fucking year and have yeah. planned meals and yeah. trainers that like, you know, help them work out for. Right. Know, exactly. Thing. Like, it's not like feasible for anyone. Yeah, and I'm yeah. glad that he was able to acknowledge that because that is really yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. 
But he was like, you know, but anyway, it's like one of those like just nerdy things. So I'm like, you know, now and you know, I have a couple friends who are into like cycling and a couple shout out Kevin. Shout out, shout out. Shout out Kevin. Um part of the part of the gang. Part of the gang. Yeah, here. yeah, part of the gang. Um, but he's a cyclist and like he he actually turned me on to the Garmin watch and he was like, you know, just having the numbers and stuff really helped. Yeah. And so like so, you know, I had COVID in February. Terrible. <laughs> I wouldn't say okay, it's terrible, but I wouldn't say <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was the funniest <laughs> way to put it. Terrible. <laughs> One word. It is terrible. <laughs> Two thumbs down, but not recommend. <laughs> I love that. That's going to be the clip, dude. That's going to be the clip. COVID. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> uh, that was, I mean, but honestly, what you went through really isn't funny. No, it's, it's not. not. You know, and you know I'm what? Gonna I'm going to be real. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> it's you not start funny at all. Bouncing, dude. <laughs> oh, no, not the chair bounce. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Not I'm sorry. Funny, uh, it know, was terrible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, to be honest, we're not, we're, you know, it seems like things are ending now, but like, you know, you can't. <laughs> dude. What? You're laughing at his trauma <laughs> and pain? No, You're laughing at his. No, it's a thing now, man. <laughs> Oh, he's crying. Maybe he's society, in society, man. <laughs> no, it's a thing. It's you don't understand, thing. man. This is like a stick now. This is like a... It's, all right. Just... Yes. Continue, bro. Dude, you're going to laugh for the rest of the time. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. I locked it up. I locked it up. <laughs> I'm not okay. We're We're chilling. <laughs> We're good. Mike, don't fucking laugh. All right. I'm not, I'm not. Don't laugh. All right. He's telling a serious story. All right. I'm sorry. I guess. You're right. I'm serious. I don't take myself Don't laugh. Anymore. I'm no. laughing because you're no, laughing. No, 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 no. Okay. Well... No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. It could have been much worse. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think overall, the flu-like symptoms and stuff, you know, it sucked. But it wasn't like, you know, don't do it. Why would you, don't why, do it. Why would you <laughs> stare at me? Why would you stare at me? It's smirking. <laughs> why would you stare at me? It's looking. Why would you dude, stare at me? Dude, it's a podcast. Dude. I'm dude. looking. Dude. <laughs> hey, first, hey, dude. First of all, he's talking. So why are you looking at me? And smirking. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, oh. and he expects me to look at him in the nuts. <laughs> Dude, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. It's not man. funny. It's not funny. All right, all right. We're serious. We're serious. Dave, 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 Dave. We're serious. We're serious. Okay. This is serious business. Yeah. Carl, I'll probably just fast forward. I'll probably oh fast forward God, a bit. Dude. Um, <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's all good. Dude. I, uh, 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 what happened after that? I had COVID, whatever. You had COVID. Um, You're feeling terrible. Yeah, I'm feeling terrible. I'm really depressed, whatever. Um, you know, a lot of people are going through the same thing. Um, fast forward, fast forward. After I recovered, um, I had this weird um, sensation of numbness from like the top of my right side of the head all the way down to the toe. It was like a head to toe situation. Like it's like half your body, literally half my body. Jesus, I would say Christ. maybe not all of it. It was more like twenty five percent, thirty percent of my body. That was like yeah. But like you know, oh, like my hand, my right hand was blue. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got like you didn't um, tell. Me. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say. Oh that my god. Last night. But my whole hand, my whole hand was <laughs> no, dude. I'm chilling. I'm really chilling. You're not laughing. I'm scratching my. <laughs> Yo, hey, I get dude. It. I'm hey, dude. It. Hey, dude. Yeah. I didn't laugh. You're not laughing at. His I'm, not laughing. Laughing. I'm not laughing at my. Hold up. At my trauma. You're not laughing at his blue hand, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you better not be. Don't fucking do that. You better not be laughing at his blue <laughs> hand. I would never laugh oh, at his blue dude. We're not going to be able to go through this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to be able to pause this real quick. No, 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 no. We got it. We got it. We got it. His hand, he's getting no blood flow to his fucking Yes, hand. it's no blood flow. Like, don't fuck <laughs> <Like, laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop. <laughs> wow, dude. His fucking hand. He can't feel this his right nuts. hand. Get this. Not only that. <laughs> Shit was pruny. <laughs> what? You ever really take a shower? What? <laughs> 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 no, it's really hot in here. <laughs> it's so hot. His <laughs> hand is blue and pruny, man. Okay. Shit is nuts out of here, man. Right. Oh my god. This is all going in. This is, this is all going in, dude. It's not funny, man. This is uh, this is. Here. Because it's lingering effects of COVID. Yeah. It's no joke. <laughs> We're top laughing. We, we, are, no we are literally going to look like such assholes <laughs> <laughs> laughing at this kid it's of not, COVID. It's not the material <laughs> we're talking about. It, it's Dude, this, this video looks like we're just laughing at him for having COVID. We're not laughing. 
We are not laughing at it forever. Oh, God. oh that's Carl such knows good that. stuff. All right, all right. I know. All right. And if people, oh, if people knew what happened behind the scenes, they would know more about why exactly. this is so exactly. funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. There's exactly. a shit going on here. Yeah, there's a whole there's thing. There's a whole thing. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, so it's pruning and yeah, yeah, no. So like, I had no blood flow throughout my body, and like, it was a weird thing, and it, it, you know, it, um, it affected my sleep at night. I couldn't really get a good night's rest. That would be the worst. Feel, I would feel like my nerve. It's, it has to do with nerves. And I had an MRI in April, and my doctor was like, "Hey, um, your, it's like your brain's showing signs of what's called demyelination, and myelin is." A fatty tissue that it, it coats the nerves in your brain that's supposed yeah. to protect it uh-huh. from like things you know and i'm missing some of that in my head like in Jeez. certain parts of my head i don't know exactly where i didn't see that mri well like, <laughs> <laughs> you just told me and i believe i'm like yeah doc yeah sure <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah and so i i still to this day it's not as bad now it was really bad in the beginning where yeah. i couldn't sleep at night i would feel just weird shock waves yeah. like throughout my head i couldn't do anything about it because like it's not like a skin infection. Like, you can't see it. Yeah. Only I can feel it. No yeah. one knows about it but me. And, uh, and, uh, uh, I, be, it, like, right now, it's like, I, I, like, I could feel it when I wash my face, when I put soap on my face. I Has could it feel, improved? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely gotten a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's as bad as it was uh, a couple months ago. So, so when the doctor tells you that, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, hey, dude. Snicker, dude. Snicker. It was not me. Snicker. All right. When the doctor tells you, yeah, yeah, you're getting an MRI, yeah, and he says you're losing the fatty tissue in your in brain. Your brain yeah, your it's brain damage. Is essentially so. What it yeah. Is. So how do you respond to that? I was like, what oh. do you immediately do? Yeah, like, like the thing of you is like, because you're getting all these like, like long lasting symptoms. Because a lot of people like get COVID and like you can have like a minor, you know, dose of it or yeah, you get yeah, yeah. like the worst. And like you're one of the ones that fucking sadly, you know, yeah, it's the worst long hauler. Yeah. Long hauler. Like long, it's, it's, it's a thing. They call them long haulers. It's people who like, have the symptoms like they get some yeah. after effects after yeah. they recover. And it's funny. Most long haulers are people who have had COVID, but it's been a mild case of COVID. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. My, wow. People who have mild COVID usually get long hauler effects. Compa- and it's usually people between well, you didn't ages. have mild, did you? It was pretty mild. Yeah, was I would, I would, yeah, I'd have to go to the hospital. I didn't yeah. have any respi- didn't have I didn't have breathing oh, so, issues. Oh, okay, I had okay. none of that. I, it really just felt like a flu. So COVID, it, 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 part of it's what it's doing is it's, it, it's attacking the myelin in the body. It attacks the nerves in the body. Yeah, is what, that part of it? I don't think that's part of what it is. Is it, It's just my body's response to it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I think there, there are some I, – I went down a rabbit hole just like looking. I'm like, yeah. oh, I, I might have MS. Like, yeah, what, I, bro, I'm like, you don't have MS. You web MD that shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, there's a lot of different things when it comes to like demyelin. You know, you can get it from a lot of different things. Yeah. But, I would, but what I would assume is it's my it was my immune system. I would want to say, kind of turning its like it just like turned its radars on itself. Damn, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because it mm-hmm. like they, it felt the infection and it tried to you know whatever. And like during the course of fighting it off, I you know, lost a little bit of this tissue. You know, just yeah. whatever. So now it's just sensitive. Like when I roll the window down and I'm driving and there's wind blowing in my face. Jesus. Only my right eye would get teary. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I only get teary eyed in my right eye. Like, I can yeah. feel it. It's, it feels a little bit more stinging. It's a little warmer. It's a little, you know, whatever. But it's only limited to, like, this part of my face. Yeah. It used to be, like, my whole body my whole down, right all side. the way down to my toe. Like, it used to be my leg. Well, not really the legs. It was just the heel, the foot. Yeah. Is that in and your my spine arms. then? Is that somewhere in your neck? Like where, I mean, where is brain, the nerve? The brain controls the brain. everything. Yeah, it's it's, it, it extended all the way. But I mean the numbness itself presided after two or three weeks. Okay, okay. About two or three weeks. All that stuff's connected though, like to your spine, right? Yeah, yeah. Everything, it's all one. Oh, man. Yeah. Whatever you feel in your foot, it, yeah. it, it goes straight to your head. Like you feel that, you know what Jeez. I mean? So it's like, it's a message. It's like how they, your body sends so, it. So th- what was like the, um, so when you went to the doctor, what they tell you like, like obviously you know you, you lost half the feeling in your body well like, they what said did they tell you well they told me to go see a neurologist and they gave uh-huh. me some options they gave me some numbers to call and you know um i called and you know it was a weird it was like a weird like couple. a million dollar operations like no it, i mean i hope not i mean <laughs> i don't think you need to get operated for this yeah. um but um i just haven't gotten i wasn't able to get an appointment with a neurologist yet let's uh-huh. just say that it was just a bunch of calling back and forth me leaving voicemails yeah and like, you know it's yeah. just a lot of you know i get it it's like Dude, there's probably Busy, so many dude. fucking people. Yeah, Busy. I get it. I, I'm not like... It's so scary to think. Yeah. I mean, again, if I, I if it was an emergency, if I knew that I was like... 
hey, like I'm slurring my speech or like I'm just like not feeling really great like yeah, all man. the time. You know, I would have gone to the ER yeah. and I'm pretty sure that would have been the thing. But because I know what the issue is, the MRI told me what the issue is, the doctor told me what the issue is. It's yeah. like, all right, well, now it's up to you. He told me not to ignore it. He was like, don't ignore it. He's like, yeah, yeah. but if you're feeling better, you know, whatever, just try and get an appointment. And yeah. I just haven't been able to get one yet. So, yeah. mm. you know, that's where I'm at right now. And it's not terrible. Yeah. It's definitely still there. Still, yeah, it's still there. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not the same person I was a, a year ago. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't think I'll get back to like that state. Because myelin is not something you can regenerate. Yeah, just yeah. Your body doesn't naturally. I don't think your body naturally regenerates. If anyone's watching this, who's like a yo, yeah, DM, yeah, nice. yeah, let us know. And we'll well, have from what I read, podcast. yeah, from what I read though, what they do, the treatment's usually like a steroid. Okay, they would give you a steroid, yo, and that Carl's would stimulate. Ripped. I, I said, everyone makes that joke. Like, yo, you get, I'm sorry. Jordan said I'm the same. Jordan you get swole, bro. I'm like, oh yeah, dude, real funny, bro. Oh, yeah, that's childish. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but they, it's, it's steroid, but you, it won't grow back to the same yeah. potency as it was originally. Okay. It'll always be a weaker version. So I, I feel like this yeah. is kind of permanent. <laughs> Dude, like think about it. That, that's, you know what I mean? This is kind losing, of a permanent Losing condition. that in your, like something in your, I, when I think about my brain, I'm like, if I lose something from my brain, like that's been growing. You changed for, forever. I'm 25 now, 25 years. <laughs> like when I think about that. Yeah. You your know? brain. Yeah. yeah. Like, you lost something that's been there for 25 years growing. It gets worse the older you get. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, ah. You lose a lot. Yeah. Again, I went down a rabbit hole. Now. Yeah. So down, man, for like, real? Yeah. Is that true? Have, well, yeah. You lose hand-eye coordination. You know, it's just the way it is. You know, yeah, you man. just start to lose motor function. You know, it's just naturally how it happened. Your brain just deteriorates. That's just human nature. But do you, like, I mean, things have gotten better, right? Like. Those hands good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I lost good. a lot. Of, I lost shit ton of weight, which shit is a great thing. <laughs> well, that's like good. Trimmed up. <laughs> <laughs> I lost 10. I guess, yeah, I guess I trimmed. The main point of this conversation was uh, uh, the fact, you know, because I was running or whatever early this morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, to get back to that, I lost 10 pounds because I lost my sense of taste and smell. I didn't yeah. have an appetite. I didn't feel like eating. There was a day when and, I... I knew love food. I love food. You're a foodie. I'm, I, you know, I worked on a food show for three years. I'm, you know, I, I, I I'm into beer culture. Dude, I love. I, love I just got too. into whiskey. Like oh. you know, my friend. We just started. Oh, you're a whiskey guy now. A huge whiskey guy. He's and like been. we we been. Uh, yeah, and He's like been. I I stopped drinking for like two yeah. months. I had COVID. I literally had COVID. I had a I had beers the night before I found out that I had it. <laughs> And then from that moment when I found out that I had it for like two straight months, I didn't drink. Like I literally quit cold turkey when I was drinking Damn, like man. relatively often. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. I literally just stopped cold turkey, stopped drinking alcohol. I stopped like eating a, a, like a bunch of bad shit. I haven't had fast food in like this whole fucking year. Wow. I haven't had like no, I've really? had no nugs. I've had no nugs. Are you kidding? No, Come I haven't. On, no, dog. I haven't. I've been just when I, I eat like fat free Greek yogurt. So I'm, I'm saying, fine. dude. See? With some granola in the morning, that's what I eat. And then you like, took a you took a real yeah, negative turn, fucking thing and spun it for yourself. Well, I mean, it was easy because when you lose your smell and taste, yeah. What else, and like what else when you want to when you want to shift your diet, I said, you know, I think when I recovered, I lost ten pounds, and I'm like, hey, you know what, this isn't so bad. And I was looking at pictures of myself from like last like the holidays and stuff like that just happened in 2020. I'm just like, yeah, you know. Why the fuck did anyone tell me I was turning on school like that, man? What the shit? <laughs> no one ever does, dude. I went to my friend. No one ever does. Never. I asked my boy Kevin. I'm just like, yo, why the fuck didn't you? We've been drinking whiskey and stuff. Like, why the fuck did you say nothing to me? And he's yeah. like, well, I thought you knew. <laughs> I thought you knew. He's like, yeah, that's what a bro will say. He's like, I thought yeah, you knew. Yeah. You've been drinking. You know, I thought, you know, you've been I making a lot of pasta. We're both, you know. Yeah, we're just yeah. chilling. We go, whatever. You're chilling. It's a pandemic. And oh. I'm just like, no, you fucking tell me. Yeah. <laughs> when I start looking like that, man, I look at the pictures. I'm like, you know, so. I lost 10 pounds. I was like, you know, whatever. I started, 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 started going on walks and I started making little goals for myself. Like, you know, because I'd walk like half a mile. I'd be winded and I'd be yeah. like, dude, I And you really, still have that, you know. Yeah. In the beginning, and, and, right? Yeah. I'm, in the beginning, this was in March, like that, like beginning of March, I'm still walking around. Your like foot's dragging on the floor and shit. Oh, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, Jesus. I can't really balance correctly. And I'm just like, I'm, I feel worse than like the fucking 85 year old who's like walking across the street Damn. from me and he's like power walking i'm yeah, just like man. oh shit dude like i feel terrible yeah but um setting little goals like that and like being able to shift my diet and completely like kind of you know and i didn't have any alcohol at all there was a point where i didn't have any caffeine i didn't i didn't drink wow. coffee for like two three weeks during you covid went, I didn't you have went it. a whole different diet. i literally yeah. took my whole like biological like you know diet sense yeah sense of humanity like eating a lot making a lot of pasta dishes i was really into pasta during the, the winter mm. And I just like gave all that up. I just stopped consuming 
all of it. And it was at, it got to a point where I'm like, I can't believe I'm doing this. But you know what? Just keep doing it for a little bit. You yeah. felt better as you went kind of thing? Yeah, because the numbness started to subside and, you know, I was still losing weight, you know. You know, by now I lost like 30 pounds. Like com- compared to from February till now, it's been like 30 pounds. Yeah, man. So like, you know, I don't, and you know, only COVID did the first 10. The, le- the extra 20 was like me. Yeah. Like that was doing me it. doing it. You know what you I mean? Because I, I, I actively was like, don't go back. Like don't yeah, do what you did before you had the disease because it wasn't great for you. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know what now? And, and it seemed like, you know, at the time the world was like, March, you know, vaccinations are starting to become, you know, somewhat available. You can make appointments in Jersey and you can, you know, whatever. And I'm like, yo, if the world's going to start opening up soon, like, who do I want to be in this, like, reopened world? Like, do I want to go back to who I was in, like, October 2020 Mm. or do I want to, like, kind of craft, like, something new? So, I was like, let me try it. Let me just try it. And I don't want to kill myself doing it because I I, I was like, I can't, like, I tried running initially at that point. Dude, I, I went like half a block and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I can't. I was so yeah. winded. Yeah. I was sweating profusely. My legs hurt. I'm like, I can't do it. My knees were hurting. I'm like, I can't do it. I really can't do it. But I told myself, why don't you just like walk? So 5K is 3.1, 3.2 miles. Why don't you just try walking an hour a day? Because that you usually cover that in that like, you know, the average walking pace. It's usually an hour. Mm. Why don't you try walking three miles three to four times a week? Make some time. You're not doing anything. You're going back to work. You're doing all this stuff, but like you have a lot of free time instead of just sitting in your room. Why don't you like go out and like just do that? Yeah, and then, you know, put a podcast on or listen to a new yeah, album yeah. or something. You know, yeah. you know something critical in your ear. And I did that, and I'm at the point now where I'm just like, all right, well, let me try. I'm basically at the point where I want to run like one mile walk two, yeah, and then get to run two miles walk one, and then finally be able to run like a full five k. That's where I basically want to go. So, go. right now I'm at the, I'm, you know, I'm at, I'm still early. I did like the one mile, two walking thing. Yeah. Run one, walk two. Yeah. So, I'm there now. And again, we're, this is what, June? The end mm-hmm. of June? This, this all started back in March. Mm-hmm. So, like it took me a while. It, you know, yeah, walking and like having to just like, and I didn't have any records or metrics or anything. So, I didn't know what I was doing until I got like a watch, like a sport watch. And like, yeah. um, I started like, you know, recording things. And like the biggest thing, honestly, it's, it's the walking and then like just, calories in calories out if i know i'm not going to be super active for a day you're not taking in that many calories i'm just not going to stand i'm just not going to eat as much you know what i mean or drink as much or do whatever you know i guess the trouble is now i'm reintroducing alcohol in my diet you know you know it's 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 hard it's a summer man it's like you know yeah during the winter and the spring it was fine because it's like whatever like no one's going out like do you do like cheat days though yeah, do you mess around? Every like, day, every day, every day. Every I day know, but like <laughs> with 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 alcohol, I feel like the biggest thing is, is like you need just a day. Just well, to go a little. It's hand. tough, man, because it's dude, it's, it's so much. I know. Well, what I that's tell a, people that's a killer. You know well, I mean? so beer is your typical IPA is 100 to 200 calories. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, it's 100 to 200 calories. Average is, is 150. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you but go, I, if but you, I but I do think alcohol does have like. It slows down your metabolism. Yes. Like it basically, it, like you re- if you work out, if you lift weights, you really shouldn't drink alcohol yeah. like the day you yeah. lift weights because you're gonna not you're not gonna be able to rebuild the muscle. Yeah, like alcohol completely like slows yeah, it down because yeah. your whole stomach and your liver is concentrated on breaking down the alcohol that like it can't focus on rebuilding your muscle. Yeah, like you can only do so much. So that's why you really shouldn't drink when you're like actually actively lifting, and that's why people yeah. do it on the weekend. Trying to build muscle. Yeah. I love this new yeah. active car. Yeah, me too. Listen, man, it's funny because I I I took. Taekwondo when I was younger, I, I <laughs> was very active when I was very, very active when I was younger. I yeah. went to the gym a lot. Like, I was a very active person. Um, and then I started smoking some cigarettes and oh, drinking some yeah, of that OE40. You know, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> drinking that malt liquor in high school. Because, <laughs> a little yeah. college action, a little getting... Oh, no, it was high school. I remember. Oh, I remember. <laughs> that was, honestly, that was the high school. Day. I was, I was, was smoking blunts in, like, the middle of shop class. The 36-pack Keystone like, Light. Like, just... Yeah. 24 cans now. I never Keystone, drank that's in high school, dude. No? Never. One, oh, dude. Once for prom. Once. Prom. Really? Once. I got blasted on prom weekend. Blasted. Dude, me too. Absolutely hammered. <laughs> me too. It was great. I did that all throughout me high too. school and college. So, it was yeah. like, oh, oh, like, you know, I was very active. In college, were you wild? No. no. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, no. See, the thing is, I didn't really I don't go, remember you getting, like, nuts. Well, considering the fact that we went to the school that we went to, it wasn't a huge party school to begin with. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Not really, you know, unless you were really in the Greek life. In the, yeah, the Greek life, But, yeah. like, I wasn't. And, like, but I loved going to, I loved music. I loved live music. So, I'd go to shows and, like, basement yeah. shows and, like, 
that's that, those that's are the where places where people, yeah, those are places where people are chugging forties and just you know <laughs> drinking. Yeah, you know, yeah, I guess that's. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying nothing, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey over what? there. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> but that was more my scene. Was like the yeah. live music scene, drinking in a basement, something Dude, there's backyard. Nothing, there's or nothing better than just. Well, you know what my favorite thing is? What? Go to Philly. Go to the bar. Time. It's a jazz bar. In Philly, they, yeah, open windows. Who like, are you, dude? Dude, open windows. They when got the go whole Philly? jazz band. Like, when and like, you go, you go in there, and there's just like regulars. Let what me tell that? you, <laughs> who's this kid? And, who and the band's there lights. every week. You know what I mean? And everyone knows each other. When there was like, oh, what's, up? Jazz what's up, Charles? What's up, Charlie? When do you go to a jazz bar in Philly? Philly? When it's do you go? in the past? When it's been years. You never, you never asked me to go to jazz bar. Hey, dude. Oh. This is the part that I want to get into. <laughs> I'm, obviously, Carl, I'm very sorry about the whole COVID thing. Yeah, no. And I'm glad you're fucking feeling better. Yeah, me too. And man. I yeah. love you, dude. I got you know I got my sense and uh, yeah, man. I, I smell and taste back. I want to actually part. ask: do you, do you do hikes and stuff? Uh, I want to. Yeah, I really man. want to. If you want I did, hike and stuff, dude. I mean, so did, I, I did. Do um, I did go with you guys last year and yes. do that. Winded the fuck. Out. Dude, I looked at pictures <laughs> of that too. I'm like, yo, I'm fucking fat, bro. What the fuck did you even tell me this shit? <laughs> We thought you knew. <laughs> <laughs> right answer, right answer. Yeah, I love it. I, love we, it. I did a hike a few years ago at a, you know, uh, Mount Tammany, which is on the side of Jersey. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. see a lot of pictures. If you go on Instagram, if you're a Jersey Instagram person, you've seen these you've pictures. Seen the yeah. influencers are all up there. They're, they're taking over the world. And we don't like you. We don't like them. I don't like them. I don't, I'll tell you why I don't like them. I don't like them because they go up to the top of the mountain where you're supposed to rest peacefully. There's yes. supposed to be some sort of serenity. There's some sort of like, yeah. um, um, you know, sense of community because yes. everyone climbed the mountain. Yes. Everyone's up there at the same time experiencing the same thing. And what do you do? You pull out a fucking gimbal with a camera with a microphone and you say, well, I'm here now. And, you know, <laughs> this is great. And uh, I'd like to thank my sponsor, NordVPN, uh, for, for giving us, you know. And I'm just like, dude, I'm like, it, it took me like an hour to get up here because I hiked slow. When I did that hike, I was very out of shape, but I did yeah. it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all. Did. It was like in July. I was huffing, like, man. It was hard. Yeah. Like, you're the only mountain goat that just like climbs the. Yeah, you're out there. Like, breathing. I'll scurry up. Yeah. You're out there. <laughs> like, but you know what? I can't wait. I feel like I could do it better now. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I 100 sure. feel like yeah. I could tack. I could tackle like an eight mile hike. Easily. We got to not yeah, easily, but we like, should do yeah, that do it. again. I used to do yeah. quor- when quarantine started. I would just go. I, I felt like a nomad, dude. <laughs> I would just go on. Like I went. I yeah. Uh, I saw your Instagram. Shout out All Trails app, all dude. Trails. All Trails, dude. Great, great. I app. just would look at all the trails dude. and like I'm. I'm like elevation. I want to go like a thousand feet. Yeah. Fifteen hundred. Two two three. Two thousand. Twenty five hundred. I did 2,500. I literally almost dude, got you're lost sucks, and died, dude. <laughs> your breathing is just like <laughs> the air dude. is so thin up there, dude. But it's I don't know. You know what I love when you start going up and you start seeing the ridges oh, of like yeah, the yeah. plants changing oh, yeah. Yeah. and shit. You're like, dude, it is cool to see that. Yeah, bro, did, did you do Stairway to Heaven? Did you guys do that one? I've done I thought we were gonna say that you do steroids. I'm like, you do. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it. You do Anivore? <laughs> no, dude, no Stairway. I've to never done that, dude. There's literally a pathway. So, I know. So the with, whole thing with the is wood, like, right? With the wood, and then you get to a part of it where it's a fucking farm. Yeah, and it's a ca- it's a cow farm. It's a dairy farm. We yeah. gotta do steroid heaven. And then there's two plants. steroid it's heaven. Gonna, we gotta you're do steroid on two heaven. By fours, it's bro. gonna it's gonna be a you are here exclusive. <laughs> oh, I'm God. gonna record it. <laughs> okay, I have one of those Zoom recorder things. We're doing it. Yeah. Done. We're doing it, done. dude. Me and Kevin went on a hike in August. I think that's the last time I went on a hike, and I forgot where we were. Um, holy shit, I was dead. I was absolutely fried. We didn't say one word to each other on the way back down. <laughs> like we. It sucked. It sucked because it was a great time. Don't get me wrong. But we got to the top and there was literally like this, uh, this group of people, not really YouTubers, but they were very annoying like YouTubers. They had like their phones out and they were like playing like some kumbaya bullshit. Like they were all like singing like parts of a song. Oh, God. Like in a circle. They, they were in a circle just like, you know, singing this like pop song. I'm just like, bro, we're, I'm trying to enjoy the view. They're TikTok. Like, I don't think they were recording anything. They just were just weird fucking like weirdo modern day gen z hippie dippies i'm just like (laughs) i'm just like hey it's cool whoa i don't don't care about that whoa dude no i don't care it's just we're sponsored no no no. it's just it's just like they were just like obnoxious you know they were like like, everyone else was quiet (laughs) 
everyone else is like pulling out their lunches, finally yeah. able to eat after scaling oh this mountain. You know what I mean? Like we're all in the yeah, same boat. Yeah, yeah. We're applying sunscreen. And then you just have these like people just like in a kumbaya, like just weirdo <laughs> thing. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, dude. This, this fucking reminds me. Stop. <laughs> dude, I, I went home one day. I live in like an apartment complex thing now. Just I'm, I'm living with my parents until I move out. And uh, I come home one day. It's like <laughs> seven o'clock. Like people are coming home from work. There's this lady just dressed in like a crazy headdress thing, like weird outfit and just has these big ass drums and shaker things. And she's just going like, don't, 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 don't. She's like, ah! and, like screaming and shit and like shaking and like drumming and like yelling. I'm like, dude, this is like a, like a, <laughs> there's like a quiet apartment. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what is going on? It's like, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> and I remember the neighbors Which are looking out like, what is in, going dude? on? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> It's crazy. You gonna hit her with a paintball gun? What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh my god! Shut up! <laughs> Open the window. Shut up! <laughs> no offense to Gen Z. Gen Z. No offense listen, to Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. TikToks, reels. I get it. You it's guys fun. are. You it's guys funny. are great. I'm not. Great. I'm not hating. And please don't call me a millennial boomer. I. I, I don't really, DM them. You are here podcast on TikTok. Them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and we are on TikTok. TikTok. You go oh. check us out on TikTok. There you go. We're there. I like that. We do dances. You guys do the sixteen by nine or nine by sixteen vertical thing. I don't know what I do, but I put it up there. Mikey, Mikey does some work up there for me. All right, yeah. No, that's the wave now. (laughs) We're pulling numbers, dude. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) We're pulling these bitches. All right, all right. I want to bring it because we were talking. Okay, okay. Can I ask him quick? Real quick. Can I ask him quick? It's about that working out thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. People who have may not have gotten into this swing, this new swing of like what you're involved in right now, which is like you're cutting up, you're running, you're doing the 5K deal, you know, cutting back on the sweets, you're, you're studying your stats. There's a ton of people out there who probably are feeling shitty from, you know, quarantining and I don't know, they haven't done it yet. They right. just haven't, they, they wanted, they want to do the change thing. Maybe they just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Like what's one piece of advice you would give? Yeah, it will help you. Start slow. Mm. Start very slow. And know that it's going to start slow. Don't right? put pressure on yourself. Yeah. I think the easiest thing for you to do is to just give it a, you know, give it a try. Make something very simple. Walk one mile. Walk 500 steps. If you haven't left your room in like three days, just walk around the block. Make it very easy and then gradually try to improve on that. And again, I think being able to measure, if you actually measure your progress that makes it a lot easier because i used to just free run and then like never do it again because i had no idea how i was doing you know what i mean like this yeah. years ago and stuff and i'm not a runner now I, w- I wouldn't call myself a runner i i'm just trying to actively it's funny because i tell my friends you know because i introduced alcohol back in my diet and like you know i'm, I'm starting to you know i can taste everything again he's so dabbling i'm dabbling again i say i'm not doing this shit to just be healthy i'm doing it so i can carve a space for my vices <laughs> <laughs> okay that's okay. essentially what it is it's like i just want to make because like <laughs> calories in calories out like it's just that over consumption that makes you know and then not yeah. doing anything about it like that's and what America, causes that's what america's all about that's, that's what yeah, exactly all about. and that's what i was about for like Same. 20 28 years of my life you know what i mean like 100 yeah. percent. i totally understand but i'm like if you take a little bit of time and you focus on just the one aspect that you want to get a little bit better at my whole thing was I just don't want to feel winded when I'm walking around. I don't want to come out of this quarantine pandemic thing not being able to walk like three blocks in New York City. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to feel like garbage every time I'm like outside. Yeah. So I focus on that. Just spending time outside. Not walking a whole big distance. Just being outside and walking around. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually it turned into let me try walking a mile. Let me try three miles. Let me do a 5K like every like walk 5K three to four times a week. That was like my main thing and it took me two months to get there. Mm-hmm. You're not and you know there were days I'd miss like I wouldn't be able to walk as a work or whatever going back to work and stuff. Just like you know find some time and it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of time if you really are serious about wanting to change the things that you know you're doing in your life you're going to make time for it. Mm-hmm. And I used to never really believe that yeah. until I started doing it and I'm like yeah yeah there you go man yeah Hell so yeah. just just start that's the one important that's right. thing. just start that's right and see where yeah. you're at if you hate it then whatever just go back to fucking smoking weed and drinking beer i don't know what to tell you <laughs> i don't know what to tell you just do it yeah. i'll tell you it's your life I don't know. definitely mm-hmm. for me man it's like before um i started uh working on i've been working on like a remodeling an apartment 
uh, before that I was going, I don't know why it's like, I can only work out if I'm doing it. Like I'm going hardcore every day. Uh, You're all or nothing. Dude. Yeah. See, that's dude. the opposite it's of so me. It's so hard bro. for me, man. Really? It's really hard for me that's to be like, cause I'm like, I'm like, oh, if I miss a day, then it's over. I am dude. the same. Then nothing. Then you got nothing. Really? Dude. Both yeah. of you. Wow. Yeah. But it's like, I'm learning. It's not like that though. It's hard. Yeah, man. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to think like that. Cause it's like. No. Every time you do it, you're getting a little bit better. Yeah. Every time you do something, you're doing, you're getting better. Everything in life is you do it a little, you get better. Yeah. Dude, even, it's a little painful, you're getting better. Even yeah. Michael Phelps skipped the weekend of training yeah, man. to smoke a bong. Like it's <laughs> not like I'm telling you, dude. dude. Like it, it's, he's Michael Phelps. Yeah, like he's man. fine, dude. Like yeah. you're fine. I think people, I think that's the thing that turns people off is that like it is that all or nothing mentality where it's like I got to do it and I got to do it hard and I got to do it yeah. full or else what's the point? Well, the point is, like, you know, just to, in, just to be better than when you were yesterday. Absolutely. That's what it is. That's yeah, all it man. is. It's self, it's self-improvement. self I think that the, the thing I would fall into is, like, comparing. I'd be like, oh, yeah. the dude in the gym is doing this and he's here six days a week. The dude, you know, I get into that sometimes with the boxing stuff. I'm like, but that guy's, like, boxing. He's, he's boxing Bro. for seven rounds straight. Dude, I will. I'm doing four. I am on the treadmill and I'm looking at <laughs> the dude next to you. And I'm like, I'm going yeah. longer than you. And that yeah. girl, I'm going longer than them. Dustin Hurt. Because they started. And and when they start, when I'm already going. See, see, see. You're still, when they start, when I'm, it, and I'm running still, and then they stop, I'm like, <laughs> I'm beating them. <laughs> but that's the, that's it makes the, that's no the devil, sense. dude. That's, that's makes you like trying no to kill sense. yourself, trying to, trying to beat yeah, people. It's stupid. But you're, you're going to hurt yourself. So now I just give myself, I'm like, for cardio you, a days, I'm like 45 minutes. You got to just run 45 minutes. That's it. I just give time. It's That's for you. the only way I can do it. It's for you. Challenge yourself and yeah, not others. Man. So yeah. like you don't have to like. I'm like, oh, they're on 13 speed. Dude, but oh, you turn yourself dude. off. You're, You're like, on I don't want to fuck. I get like, I don't want to fucking go if I'm hurting myself yeah. that fucking bad every day. I yeah. used to basically when I ran, I would do everything wrong. I did everything wrong until recently when I started watching videos and I started learning a little bit more about like the form of running and your stride and stuff. Like I was like landing on my heel. I was taking long stretches. Yeah. I wanted to go as far as I could, as fast yeah. as I could. And I'm just like, just like long hauling it. And yeah. like you're done. You're burned. You're like burnt yeah. out. you do, you got you got to run shorter. You got to run like you know. You got to land in the middle of your foot. Like yeah. you got to like just you know pace your like. Yeah. And not everyone's gonna you know whatever. People are gonna be faster than you. Yeah, Big fucking yeah, like yeah. who cares? Yeah. Like it's yeah. not a race. <laughs> who cares? You're in the park. You're in the park on a Wednesday morning. Like, who are you trying to be? Like, yeah, man. It's like kids Gladys in, kids from like in the, the sandbox. Like, who, like, yeah, exactly. kids are old. Oh, kids in the sandbox. That's like kids are in the sandbox making a sandcastle. Just fucking mm-hmm. run, dude. There's no sandbox at the park at the park that I go to. Oh, Whoa, all right, I'm sorry, dude. dude. I thought it was a nice park. Hey, no, Mike. it is a nice park, which right, is the main dude. reason I did it because uh, they renovated that over the quarantine. Oh, so they okay. added like a regulation racetrack. They had like Ooh. an actual track. Oh shit! And, uh, All right, they I'm renovated sorry, like dude. half the side of the park. So it was shout out Rawway. Yeah. Oh, it was Clark. Actually. Oh, it was Clark. Sorry, shout out Clark. I'm dude, not shouting out. Do Clark. you think you could? Oh, just... <laughs> I take it back. No shout out. <laughs> I ain't shouting them out. <laughs> do you think... good park though? Do you think rivals. you guys could ever? This is a weird question. This... Do you think you could... this is a random question? I mean, <laughs> do you think you could ever live in the city? Yeah. No. And maybe. Like, do you think you could maybe. go out go out for a run in the city? I don't know. I would have to. You'd have to. Yeah. You'd have. I to. mean, you. You know, there there are a lot of good parks in this, in, in the city. A lot in, just in the boroughs rough. and stuff. Like Brooklyn. Yeah. You figure it out. Yeah. Like, Brooklyn, I could run in the streets. I think that, like, that wouldn't be too bright. Lower East Side. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Yeah, Midtown. Yeah. No. I was in New York. Uh, I was in Manhattan yesterday. You see those dudes with a shirt off? Yeah. Like, uh, oh dude, yeah. Always with the fucking shirt off. And stop like. And I'm in my fucking car like. <laughs> You know, I'm just fucking hot boxing on, on 38th. Dude. Just like, <laughs> hey, get out of here. Just put it on, dude. Stop running. I don't care about your neon green <laughs> shoes. No, <laughs> but, but if, I, if I was ripped up like that, I'm no sure. No, no, no. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Next time I run, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I, should. I you should sure. Right now. Well, I bought the. Flip. I started walking Teddy with my, my shirt off. Oh, there you go. That's a good. That's a good I'm gonna that's keep good. it real. Hell yeah. Because you want the even tan thing. You know what I'm saying. You can't go with the off tan thing. Bro, I just saw a dude walk into the fucking gas station <laughs> quick shop and just buy groceries and leave. Just Come on, dude. <laughs> no shirt, shirtless? Yeah. I'm like, damn, dog. Bro, in, this, crazy. in this weather, bro, I don't know. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Bro. Dude's trying to provide. Dude, when I, when I get a ripped, license. I'm going to be an asshole. Dude, you're gonna be such an such an asshole. asshole. <laughs> I'm a dick myself. You do the so. pod without a shirt. <laughs> dude, if I, if I was shredded, I'd be like, sorry, dude. Do 
Well, when we when you do your hiking episode or whatever the fuck you were just saying yeah. ten minutes ago, I'm sure you won't have a shirt on. Yeah, that. yeah. Oh, I will, dude. I am. I am not ripped. I am all. wearing a parka. <laughs> yeah, I'm covering Either. up as. Well. I'm wearing some Canada goose. Just. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing that though i'm putting we'll it do down it. We'll do it. i'm putting Dude, it right i do now. i do want to hike again let's do and, it you know i want to apply those you have for, for carl by the way you had you said you had a question real no quick. i had i had yeah, yeah real quick just hand me another beer yes. just get him get him one more i had i wanted to get into this because you were giving me a little attitude all right oh okay <laughs> about <laughs> uh-oh oh, oh shit. about all this bullshit what bullshit you talking about well, you didn't invite me, dude. Whoa, oh my God, man! <laughs> oh, Never jazz club? inviting me, dude. Ja- Philly, who is this kid? Time, jazz that was like ten minutes yeah, ago. Hey, dude. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. Hey, bro, you're going to Texas. That's true. <laughs> you want to go? And hey, who was? I was telling Carl. I was like, I was like, dude, we should go to Texas. Me and Dave, let's go to Texas, dude. Let's, do the, po- let's do the pod in L.A. Let's Ooh. do it with everyone. And then, oh yeah, well, and then and then and then, like and then yesterday shaded. and then yesterday, shaded. Dave's like, we literally did a podcast for fucking four hours, <laughs> and then uh, and then didn't even tell me that day. Then today, he's like, dude, dude, I'm going to Texas. That was yesterday, or yesterday, I mean, that night, yeah. or in, in the midday, midday. He's like, yeah, dude, I'm doing, going to Texas, dude. I'm like, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, nice. I'm, a bad, cool. I'm a bad partner, bad podcast partner, and saying? I'm going at Carl too. Oh shit! Because I always tell Carl get the shit that I, I do. I always tell Carl, I'm like, hey, dude, let's fucking invite, oh, invite like me next time, no, no, bro. No. Carl is like that. Invite me next time, bro. When and you we get a love beer. you, and it's out of love. Wait for what? Because little you beer, what? dude. You go, you go to breweries. You, you hitting, you hitting, bro. You, you got the barbecue like, spot now, and you're like, <laughs> bar- it's my parents' backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm like hey, dude, invite- I mean, it's, just, it's like there's four chairs. I mentioned there, it dude. like three times. Am I just your dance boy? Am I? I'm, we're just for dance homies. <laughs> okay, first of all, Mike over here <laughs> is Mister. I'm busy twenty four seven. I work dude. weekends like That's seven true. years straight. Seven years straight. I'm like working at the cafe. That's true. Like straight, I'm working all the time, man. I'm fucking dirty, Mister Dirty Hands. Just Mr. invite me, dude. Mister Dirty Hands. Somebody Mr. have Mister Carhartt, po- yeah, Patagonia. Call, call me Mike Rowe, dude, because I got a dirty you got job. A dirty job. <laughs> you got a dirty job. Damn, bro. But hey, man. But hey, dude. Well, <laughs> listen, I got Saturdays off now. <laughs> well, you got Saturdays off. Listen, man. I'm down to drink, bro. Now that I got my taste back, <laughs> now I got my taste back. We just talked about. Cle- hey, clearly, we just talked about we're working out. Like, listen, you got to get in there, dude. Come I guess on. that's another. Well, y'all got to. No, listen, y'all, y'all got to start getting. <laughs> like I dog, just said, bro. Start getting that you fucking beach enjoy, body, you know, dog. Like, it's all about balance. It's yeah, about. Yeah. It's yeah. all about balance. Whether it's in creativity, in your in your art forms, if it's in your fitness life, mm. it doesn't matter. It's all about balance. That's right. Yeah. And if you're able to balance some good and bad. And make it work for you. That's all you need. And yeah. everyone's different. Everyone handles it differently. Hell so yeah. don't be mad at yourself. Don't be upset at yourself for the results you re- initially get. All right. That being go. said, yes, I want to drink every weekend from now on <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the rest of my adult life. So if anyone wants to join me, <laughs> slide in my got, DMs. I got a question for you, dog. I got yes, a question sir. after that. Okay. <laughs> well, mine first. Mm. Back up. Okay. Boxing you out. We do this together. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, it's from Sean Paul eighty nine on IG. Shout out Sean Shout Paul. Out Sean. Sean Paul, man, I haven't seen him in a while. What is your six month goal to achieve, both personally and business wise? <laughs> Let's get into it. Personally, well, number one, while we're coming off that topic, I'd like to be able to run a five k. I love mm. that. comfortably. I love that. comfortably. Yeah. I want to be able to run it, like not even breathing heavy. Yeah, I want. Yeah. Well, I mean, breathing heavy is fine. I want to be able to just finish it and not feel like I'm dying. Yeah. And be like, hey, listen, I got the rest of my day. Because 5Ks usually happen in the early in the morning. I want to be able to run that in the morning and be like, I feel great. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, this mm-hmm. feels good. That's one thing. Work-wise, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's been slow. You know, for, I'm sure for the pandemic. Well, you you've know, been busy as fuck now, haven't you? Yeah, you know, we you've started. You've been doing a lot. Yeah, yeah, we've started working again in a little production company. I'm actually wearing a shirt right now. Oh, shout out, shout out. NB Pro. NB Pro. Pro. Nick Benzetto. You and, need you a sponsor, know, bro? We need a sponsor. Yeah, well, I mean, shit. You want us to <laughs> just start? Yeah, I heard, start I heard you got a lot more work. I heard, I heard a lot yeah, of work's coming in. So. A lot of uh, work coming in. Yeah, <laughs> Jordan didn't talk about this last I'm week. We, should, we, should we got a lot week. of you know acting people, filmmaking yeah, people man. that watch the pod, listen to the pod. Yeah, 
you know? yeah i shoot like commercial corporate stuff like during the day and then do the film stuff at night mm-hmm. so that's Hell kind yeah. of how it's been i mean six months from now i would like to you know i say this every year and it's so funny because at the beginning of the pandemic not even the beginning of the pandemic it was the beginning of 2020 january 2020 mm-hmm. me and jordan who you had on last week my trusted dp my oh, confidant yeah. shut up, shut up. my creative Legend. confidant we had coffee it was january it's a new year it literally just it was like the first week of january and he's like, what do you want to do this year? Like, what is it that you want to do? And I said, I want to write a feature. Ooh. I want to write a feature. I don't care how feature sh- season. I, well, I don't care how bad it is. Like the first draft. I just want a first yes. draft done. I want yeah, it from man. page one to page 90 or whatever it is. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? I just want that for myself. Yes. I don't even have to show anyone. I just want it for myself. And he's like, well, all right, get started. Next thing you know, COVID happens in the U.S. and all that. And uh, all, everything we talked about everything. the first 10, 15 minutes, whatever. <laughs> all that happened. So that hasn't really come to fruition yet. But, you know, I can't say, though, that I've been writing because it's like, it's just having. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, I know, I, 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 you know, it's one of those things where it, 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 it is very similar to running, right? You know, it's any a form of exercise. Like, you really, it's a muscle that you got to train, you got to write, yeah. you got to be able to just put things, put thoughts on the paper. And, like, I just haven't done that. And I guess I'm at that point where you just said, if you had any advice for people who are just starting, you could probably apply the same advice I just said to myself because I'm not really doing that. You know, I'm not like, I know that I should just write for the sake of writing. I should just do it. Just just get out whatever, you know. I just don't do it. I just don't open the software. Yeah, up. if it I was don't... like a metrics thing, like like the watch, like if it was like <laughs> How many I'm going to write a page like, a day, yeah. or I'm going to write a, you know. A yeah, but you know what, honestly, or... but that's what actual writers do yeah they yeah. they write they just they just do it and they don't do, they do it when they don't want to do it mm. they make time for it even job, though they don't want yeah. to it's their job they want to do it you know that being said writing is not my job right i'm a camera guy right right, mm. right. I'm, I'm a technical guy so it's but kind there's of a like, part of you that's a creator hey you are a create you're a director you're a you're Dude. a storyteller you're yeah last week jordan was just saying man he was behind the camera and he's i he wasn't directing listen, man i didn't listen to his episode so i don't know if he said anything about me <laughs> i mean there's a lot of things i should have listened to it now he's like, a lot of, I but no but one thing he was the saying big, is remember what he said yeah fuck Okay, are you not going to spoil it for me? No, no, are you no, making no, me no, listen no, to it? No, like, no, what is this? Can't, no, you should definitely listen to it. Oh boy! But um, he it's was. The, it's the back end of the pod. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He talks about me. I mean, I mean, dude. There's, it's there's there. some shit you probably want to hear. Yeah. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah. Oh my it's god! Probably like. I don't know how. You're, I don't know. You I should know probably just, take. You it. should probably just check how it out. Wait, wait, wait. What? How but but really, Jordan was saying that. You know, he's been this like DP for so long, but now he's like, man, I just want to like, I want to direct something. He's like, I kind of feel like yeah. I want to get, you know, because I think about story, I think about, you know, the editing process, how how it's going to be sold, like what all these things I'm thinking about. He says, and I, you know, but at the in this time frame in my job, like I am technically setting up these shots, and that's my job, like yeah. framing these things, bringing my artistic vision to them, and like collaborating. But I have this like aspiration, almost like a feeling like I, I may be a director. Like I may be something. Not that he Jordan's, should be a director. He is a director. He's yes, directed exactly. things before. He's not a stranger to this. Exactly. Stuff. And I understand because, you know, I work with him at our little production company that we, you know, shoot for during the day. And like, yeah, he's the DP. Like he sets the shots up and stuff. But I know that he like, I know he's a director. So he's yeah. like, you know, and it's funny because like, it's funny because like, you know, I direct, I like to direct the stuff that I kind of have a hand in writing in. I think yeah, he's the yeah. same way. But I'm like, you know, I, I like the camera, man. I'm like, I, I'm, I feel very, I'm a technical guy. I kind of yeah. like, I kind of like that. I kind of like being told what to do. Really? You know, yeah. You know, I like, I do like the directing thing, you know, and um, listen, I've directed six things already in the span of like six years. So I basically did. I did like a film every year, year and a half, two years, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, and they're all shorts, but like, you know, whatever. But, you know, going back before it was like, I want, my goal was like, I wanted to write a feature or whatever. Like, you know, I still kind of want to do that, but like, you know, I wouldn't mind if someone else had an idea and they wanted to execute it. I wouldn't mind being the one who would just help that technically happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it kind of feels like, you know, Jordan's now getting that itch where he's been doing that for so long with. I'll meet you there, the Rose Garden, yeah. a bunch of other stuff that we've shot together, his movie and That's stuff. That's so funny. So, you guys are doing like a... Yeah, I don't want to say that like I'm losing my gist as a director because that's not really yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. more like... It's more like I kind of want 
him to direct and I want to shoot something. You know what I mean? So you want to like swap roles for one thing? Just for one thing. You know, it'd be cool if I, you know, because listen. Because in a lot of people's eyes, you're a director now. Like, like, yeah, I know. You've done so many things. I mean, it's on my website. That's the banner on my website, right? Yeah, yeah. Because you are a director. Yeah. Yeah. All the things that we've done, I've directed. And I love it. And, um, you know, it's great. And I'm, you know, I don't know if I'm any good at it, but like I'm, yeah, I'm relatively good. sound at like knowing generally what the gist of the actual job title requires. We're going to Philly and Chicago. That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> is it Philly or is it Westchester now? You're, it's in, Philly. We're in Philly. Oh, we're in Philly, so dude. We're going come, to Jazz Bar, come. dude. We're going to the Jazz Bar. And we're... <laughs> we'll go. Let's move some things All right, around. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll just talk just about that off. Around. We'll talk about that off. Okay. Now that I know that we're in Philly, <laughs> we're in Philly, baby. Okay, I didn't like know like that. like in the in the heat of it. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really didn't know that. No, no, no. Hey, we're going to shock. go to the shy. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. The shy, dude? I know speakeasy in Philly. Oh, Let's go. awesome, dude! It was, it was dude. Carl. I can't wait to go. Speakeasies are great. Carl dude. somewhere, dude. Come it's, on, we're doing Philly. Never fucking. So what they did? Never invites place. me anywhere, dude. How okay, much fun did you have at the at the last festival we, when we went? And that was in Westchester when we went to when we went to the. Yeah, I mean, it was a great. It was a great time. It was a great. Town the people also. were great. Yeah, people yeah. great. The town was great. You know, we hung out and uh, you know, it, I forgot when. Look, do we was it. How long were we there? Were like four days? Three days? We stayed somewhere, right? We stayed at a hotel. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I drink and smoke a lot of marijuana. I really can't remember. And I also had COVID, as you could probably tell from the earlier <laughs> podcast. But um, I don't remember any of this. I do remember being in the theater a lot of the time. And I remember watching a bunch of different movies. I just can't remember anything that happened outside of the theater. <laughs> I love Carl, dude. <laughs> Me too. I fucking love Carl. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Shout out Gov Murphy. It's, it's legal here now. I can talk about it. Yes. Um, yes. But Let's dude, go. That oh. was that was twenty seventeen. That was like the end of twenty seventeen. Dude, I have a news thing for us to talk about. How, what are we time wise? Are we good? What are we looking like? Oh, we're good. We're good. What are we at? I like an hour. Okay. Uh Britney Spears? No. No. Oh. Did you did you see Bill Cosby news today? Oh my what? god, dude. Did we're you getting, see we're talking no. about Bill Cosby's getting released? What do you? He's getting released. Homie. Yeah, yeah. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court ter- uh, overturned the decision. What? It, why? Why? Listen, there's so man, many women in Cape Cod that were sixty. Like, it was sixty. But 60. you know, listen. Um, sixty. And he's just like, yeah. One DA was like, hey, you know what? I don't think this is true. <laughs> and he just was like, yeah, we're gonna let him out. That's fucking crazy. I know. No way. He's uh, yeah. I get it. He's out today. Yeah, he got out today. Um. He's, yeah, he just re- pieced yeah. out of prison. Yeah, he's supposed to be in there for a little, the rest of his life, basically. I mean, how old is he now? He's like ninety yeah, something, he's old, right? Man. He's old. Oh, here we go. Pull it up. Look at this. No way, though. Ten years since. Wow. Listen, I mean, how old is he? He's like ninety something, right? He's, I guess. He's old. Though. He's not coming back to like anything though. Like he's coming back to a world where people. He's still got all his money, dog. He does. And no, but he's had the money for a while, so it's not like it's gone anywhere. All this judge is doing is saying, "Hey, listen, just die in your bedroom." Right. It's essentially what he's saying. Right. Right. Instead of do, dude, dying in his prison cell, just, you know. I'm sorry, but Bill Cosby looks so he's just blind. One hundred percent in one eye. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, so what? Bill Cosby was released from prison uh, Wednesday after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned his two, 20, 2018 conviction for sexual assault, a dramatic reversal in one of the first high-profile criminal trials of the Three out of era. ten years. So he didn't even serve half He of served it. three. Dude, he's got money. That's what so that means. Yeah. Listen, I mean, you know what's funny? I don't know if you ever heard uh, Dave Chappelle speak on Cosby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. like he's like he's like this is a gut punch to like us, like the African American community, who's like you know he he was someone you looked up to, yeah man, and to see that he did this and like you know yep. all that stuff. <sighs> so I don't know, like it's crazy. I, I it's one of those things where I'm just like you know, oh he's 83, 83. I thought he was ninety. Why did I feel like he was ninety? Dude, he, he was ninety he is in the old 90s. As fuck, man. I even think about how old he is. The court's decision seemed likely what? to end the Pennsylvania case, legal experts say. And while more than 50 women across the nation have accused Mr. Cosby of sexual assault and misconduct, statutes of limitation in their cases makes further persecutions, prosecutions unlikely. Yeah. I think that was the whole thing that they tried to argue from the beginning was the that like how far. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you know, some when? of these are like 30 years. You know what I mean? But when like, did he? He did all this like shit. Throughout his career. Was, yeah. Throughout. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
This go like a lot Jeez, of this stuff goes man. back to like the sixties. Sixty, seventies. Yeah. yeah. Like this was like Jesus. I don't know, man. What do you think Bill Cosby does in jail? I heard he was like the dude. I'm sure he was, dude. He's Bill Cosby, bro. Have for you real? watched the Cosby Show, dude? I, I heard love, he was. I love the Cosby yeah, Show. I heard people I like, like came to him Cosby. for advice and shit, like for real. I, I'm sure. I'm sure there are. Where do you think the kid that did Little Bill is at right now? He's probably like, <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> we're keeping this in, right? <laughs> yeah, we're keeping it all. In. Wow. I don't fucking know, bro. So that's the big news event for the day. Yeah. I was shocked. That's crazy. Did you hear about the Britney Spears stuff? Oh, yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah. Dude, what is going on? What's her sister saying? Jimmy, Jamie Lynn's saying something, right? She's she supporting like, her or something? Dude, did you is see? Her? I feel I like. I did you see the what they're doing on like her Instagram and social media? No. They're posting shit that she's like, all right, and like on the beach and all this shit. And it's literally posts from like two years ago oh, yeah and dude. people are like dude this is literally like the same place well same i mean time. they've been doing that for like years now yeah they've been literally just weird, manipulating her public dude. image and she's kind of just been scary. stuck in a cage basically. how i heard it was 13 years she was in this conservers- conservatorship conservatorship yeah. 13 years yeah. yeah dude that's crazy she's literally be- and like i'm pretty sure the judges are in on it too. i remember i'm sure i remember um being in high school and like middle school or whatever when like that's all like it was like when she shaved her head that was like what 2006 yep, Britney, yep. like you know and people, oh, yeah. and then you had uh, what's his name, Chris Crocker, saying like, "Leave Britney alone." And everyone Leave made fun Britney of him. Alone. Yeah, everyone made fun of him for that. It was like, yo, they kind of knew the truth back then, and like, and now it took us like what, thirteen years to, to catch on to be like, hey, you know what? It's yeah, kind of fucked up what's happening to her. You I didn't know? even know that was a thing. Like, if no, you know, because when you, well, I was young at the time, yeah, so yeah. I'm just like, oh, Britney Spears. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, she she's a pop crazy. star. Yeah, now she's like doing like crazy <laughs> shit. Her and Lindsay Lohan, whatever, like yeah, the same fucking nuts. shit. You know, yeah, but like, but when you actually, you know, when you when you're older and you read all this stuff and you're kind of like damn like this is how it works she like, basically has to work for her parents yeah and uh she, she, gets, she doesn't get a dime like, she can't see her kids yeah she can't go on vacation she can't leave it's the fucking like what house. it's like what is happening like isn't what? that crazy that yeah you're a grown adult and like you're for 13 years you're basically told like your parents are going to control everything you do and uh you can't do anything about that that's illegal that's bound yeah it's like home home uh you're, you're home jail like you're just you're stuck yeah i think um so jamie lynn's coming to yeah uh, saying that like oh like but they're saying that um whatever the guy montgomery who's their fucking parents? the conservatorship is basically saying that like oh she caused most of it Who? so like Brittany? her jamie jamie oh jamie's saying okay. that jody this jody montgomery jody Mon- was yeah the one who, who's who, jody montgomery she's a conservator or whatever. Yeah, she yeah, is yeah. the conservator. Jody Dude, Montgomery. that that whole idea of conservatorship, Isn't that like, if you weird? look into it, it is just the worst thing that you can ever Fucking imagine. Fucking terrifying. I get it for like old people that can't, you know, that can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like for, Brit- I mean, obviously, you know, whatever. Or Brit- seriously meant to like, old is yeah. she's like what, 40? She's in her 40s, right? Or- Brittany? Yeah. She's in her 40s now, isn't she? I guess so. She's late yeah. like 30s? Dude, she was late she 30s, was so 40s. Young. Let's just talk about Britney Spears though, like when she was popping. She was popping. Yeah, but I'll dude, be honest, dude. I didn't how, listen to her back then, but I, mean, I know, but I me mean, either. But it, it was so weird how they portrayed her, like as a. She was. If you go back now, if you go to YouTube, dude, if you go to "Hit Me, Baby, One More Time," that video. Do you remember that? It's oh, her yes, in like a skimpy ass. Yeah, of course, kidding me? Of yeah. course. She's sixteen. Sixteen. Back and then, really? and they're back making her then, this like dude? sex icon. Yeah, back well, then they I mean, were doing that. Yeah, man. Back then that shit was going on. They don't care. I mean, if you really want to talk about that, it goes like goes deep nickelodeon dude like there's a lot oh yeah oh what's the guy's name dan schneider Schneider. yeah you can go (laughs) there's that hulu documentary that he's not watch yeah (laughs) yeah he's definitely a pizza gator the feet guy (laughs) dude he's he's a weird dude he had the foot fetish weird guy oh i don't know oh he was a nickelodeon dude yeah he's like the guy behind all he he made like everything he made like the amanda show drake and josh he's he's basically dude hey don't hire a dude and i love drake don't let a dude who's got what happened to drake right Yes, huh? another one. That's another one. Wait, what, Drake? Like child, Drake and Josh. Like, Drake. Child in danger. Oh. Like he was, te- he was oh, like yeah. sexting like a fifteen-year-old yeah. girl or something. Oh my god! I love how this whole conversation went from like me having COVID <laughs> yeah, and like man. human triumphs to just like the worst so you, humanity. So you are like, here podcast. Yeah. I guess we, you, we you are cover here. it all. Yeah. We cover it all for most yeah. of <laughs> yeah. We were talking about hot sauce in the beginning. Now we're talking about just fucking wait child in danger. So you answered Sean Paul's question. We got to it. Oh yeah, of. yeah. That's where we tailed off. Yeah, we tailed off there. What's like a uh, work thing you would like to 
have done in six months. I just want to shoot more. Is it more. the feature? I want, or, I want to I'll write the feature. Write, write, write a feature. Mm-hmm. Not the feature, but write a feature. At least something that's like tangible to me that I can like, you know, it's a full, I don't know, 60 to 80, 90 pages. Yeah. Just something that's an actual screenplay that's not fluffed or whatever. It's just an actual screenplay with like actual characters and like it cre- it's a little bit more than the screenplays that I've been, you know, yeah. reading or yeah. working or worked on previously. Like our stuff is great, but you know, it was what, what 12 to yeah. 30 pages. Yeah. It's not that yeah. much. Yeah. I want to actually tackle something that's a little bit more than that. And that's if I would, you know, that's me just writing and yeah. I have some ideas, but like nothing actually concrete. I did... I had like one screenplay, like I guess the furthest I got was like 35 pages or something like that. Um, it was like, you know, that's the closest I've gotten and it took me a while to get there. But I haven't re- I haven't edited a document in like two years. <laughs> hmm. It was like 2019, 2020. It was like around when we started on Meet, you, meet there. you There. Like, like around the time, the pre-production of that. So, that was like a yeah, while ago. Yeah, yeah. So, I think that was like the last time I ever I actually tried my hand at writing, writing. Yeah. Mm. But if, if it's not the writing thing, I would like to, you know, just shoot some more stuff. I'd like to be able to just create some more content. I hate, you know, I hate the word content. <laughs> like, this is a real terrible. Dude, word. I still feel like you should stream. I always say that. <laughs> you know I what? just noticed on this podcast, you have very, a great voice. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what's so, so funny? I'm very worked, entertaining. Right? I worked at, um, you know, for people who know me, I worked at Verizon Fios, the news network. Oh. Um, and I worked on a food show. They had a little food program on there. I worked there for three years and I was a camera guy for that. But I remember the first day, the first day I was at the station and I was with my boss, who was also like the executive producer, you know, shout out Rob Patron. Um, I don't know if you watched this, but. You got shouted out. Um, <laughs> Shut up. But we were having lunch in the cafeteria and I remember he was like eating and looking down and I was talking to him and he just like stopped and he looked up and he was like, you know, he's like, you have a really good like voiceover voice. He does, right? He was like, you know, the first day I just, I literally just met this guy like a couple hours ago. He's like, Close your eyes. He was like, you know, you have a really good voice for like, like radio or like, you know, I'm like, you call me Isn't ugly, great? Right? I'm like, no, it no, no. He's, good, like, he's like, you just have that like timber in the voice. Yeah, you he do. Didn't say that, but you like, do. Hey, listen, man. I, you know, I'm a musician. I'm not a stranger to the microphone. Yeah. I know a lot of people yeah. are very, you know, self conscious and you know, very paranoid about that. But like, I'm not. You know, I, yeah, I, yeah. I've, I've had a microphone. I bought my first microphone in the seventh grade, mm-hmm. and I've been go, recording man. my voice ever since. You know what I mean? So it's not like a new thing to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I want to do like a true crime. Oh, podcast, see, you know? we should do a like a like a narrative. Let's find something. Should we do like a um, you are here fanfic? What is that? Only if I get laid. Whoa. Oh, we'll put it in there. Oh. <laughs> Let's put it in. Sponsored by Trojan. Sponsored by Drex. <laughs> Reddit.com. Ew. <laughs> now, Ew. You do have a great voice. Yeah. Hey, I... I actually should probably show you later. I started recording uh, music stuff. I guess that's another thing real quick. Well, color science, what's going on? Hey, dude. Are we coming up? This is another thing I wanted to ask, man. It's yeah. like, dude, I still fucking go back and listen to Do you? Color Science out. Okay, cool. Because like, I, 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 you know, listen, we did the music video. We did the, I did the yeah, album man. thing. I've, I, you know, I don't even have its own Instagram page for that. Like, I'm just like <laughs> not even promoting. I'm just like not even like showing. It's just it something anywhere. for you. No one knows. Yeah. yeah. You know what it is? It's, it's, it's because I can't afford therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford a therapist, but I have a microphone in my room. So, it's like that's the easiest way, I guess. Yeah, man. But um, no, it's fun. You know, I've always been into audio. I think I've discussed this the last couple episodes I've been on, you know. Um, it was always my first thing. That audio was my first foray into the whole arts entertainment industry. Yeah. So, like, you know, being able to do audio stuff. And I still really like the audio stuff. Um, yeah, man. Sound design in movies and stuff. I pay a lot of attention to that. You know, the cinematography is great and I love it. But, like, it's yeah. a hand-in-hand thing. It's peanut butter and mm. jelly. You got to have yeah, both. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. you, can't, you can't have one without the other. So, it's a good it's a good thing to kind of study. And if you don't get really into it, know the basics. You know what I mean? Yes. So. But yeah, man, you're recording and stuff. That's pretty cool that you're actually doing. Yeah, I know so, you've been writing some yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, I'll, show you, I'll show you after. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, that, that answers the question. Well, that answers the question? Dude. That was like a 20-minute answer. And, but. Oh, we got a production company now. I'm just going to say. So when you oh. do write your feature. When you do write your feature. Mm. It's got a home with us. If you want to come over. Mm. Anytown Purchase LLC. Hey, man. I mean... Just, just, just throwing it out there. Hey, that's great. I just mean, let, just letting it. It's crazy to have all the ideas, but like not really know how to like execute everything. Yeah, or like how to get it on paper. You oh know, yeah, just like getting man, it for like sure. just how, how do you like evoke what you're thinking 
Mm. How do you get like dialogue out of these people? Because I think that's one of the things me and Jordan talk about it all the time. We're like, it's all about the dialogue. In a feature, it's all about the dialogue. Like you can have yeah. moments, you can have slow moments, but like they have to be supplemented or at least bounced off of really intense scenes. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, got, yeah. you know, depending. there has to be dramatic conflict throughout the. There whole has time. to be a conflict. There has to be a resolution. There has to be you know connection. There has yes. to be has to there has to be like threads running throughout the whole thing because mm-hmm. if you don't have that, yeah, you then plant you just a have... thing and you're coming back to it later and you're coming back to it again to see like an arc to it. Mm-hmm. Right, that's everywhere. That's like littered, right? Right, and it's really you know it's the actor's job to bring that to life to make it feel real. Right, but how do you it, write that? How do how do I convey that to them? You know what I mean? Like so that's like the director's challenge or the writer's challenge is like how do I convey that what I'm feeling and what like, these people that I think they should be how do I make them that? Yeah. And so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you think I haven't written a feature yet? I don't know. I mean, I love everything that we've done together and Me it's too, great. Man. Like I Me I think too. we've done some great work together. I think so too. But like when it comes to being like a feature, like I really want to like I love I love ensemble casts. You know mm. what I mean? I just love that idea of like having different areas of of life to like cut to. Yeah. You know, it's not just focused on one person yeah. or two people. Yeah, yeah. You have multiple people and they're all in different situations. That's why I love like, you know, I love the wire. Mm. They have oh, a yeah. great ensemble cast. And like there's like no score to the the show it's literally all diegetic like everything's happening mm. like in thing and so like they like that's a great resource that i always go back to that's like great character development fifth season was there <laughs> <laughs> not the greatest yeah. but you know it was great it was a good show but like um other things um i gr- it's funny because i grew up i don't want to say i grew up but like i grew up watching oz on hbo oh, man dude that show is intense bro that was before the wire a lot of people from the wire were on the show yeah, and like yeah. that show was intense but it had an ensemble cast it literally had like 30 people that you would cut to like different stories so like when i when it comes to a feature i would like to do something in the vein of that and not just focus on one or two characters i'd like to build a community and kind of make them interact with each other and i think that would be a good way to kind of showcase some themes or showcase some idea or some um 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 I guess point of view that I have, it's just more or less me translating that, right? Because like when I when I when I look at myself, I'm just like, well, what do you want to say to people? What do you want to tell people? Like you know, you do it through the music already, and you do it through you know the films that we've done and other other stuff. But like, what is it that you want to say to everyone? And how do you want to say it? And I just don't know. Yeah, man. That's okay. It, I just don't know. And I've been struggling with that for like three, four years now. That's yeah, why, you know. Because yeah. if I really wanted to write a feature, I probably would have done it by now. Yeah. Right, right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I probably if that was your it number now. one goal, like I need to write a if feature. If it was like, yeah. yeah, if it was that pressing like, yo, I have to get this out. Like I have this thing and I have to get it out. It would have been done by now. Yeah. Because what was I doing during the pandemic? Losing in Warzone, <laughs> getting like to the fifth round and getting absolutely annihilated and getting so pissed and like not having the right attachments on my gun. That's what I was getting pissed at for all of 2020. And I wasn't really paying attention to like what I wanted to do after the fact that we were in this, you know, the world was in such a shitty state. Yeah. It still kind of is. Um, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I still kind of don't. So I'm kind of still in that phase of just like emerging. I feel like a butterfly well, butterfly cocoon, you know i'm just like you know i have one wing though i only have one wing i'm like what do i want to do with this wing and yeah. how do i get two wings i'm not really sure yeah like, i'm just not quite sure yeah, how, yeah. To, how to approach that's okay i think dude this is like a weird fucking time for everybody and we're all going through these like fucking changes physically and like mm. the way we think the, the what we're gonna do next like i think if anything like for me this this quarantine has been like one day at a time one fucking day yeah. at a time. Yeah. Like the like the five year plan's great. The six month plan's great. What's my like day plan? What what do I what am I doing in this moment? Because life changes like that. Yeah. You know, so like yeah, yeah. I wake up and I'm and I'm I'm different than I was yesterday. So what do I want to do with today? Well, I've been working on a thing. Do I wanna show up to a meeting and like figure out how to raise money and like learn about that? Yeah, I do. Let's try that today. Or do I wanna like go to the coffee shop on a whim and get a double shot and i have like this inkling of a you know who knows what the, when when you're going to start like writing that feature that you want to write like but it's like for me it's like so day to day am i okay today what's going on today 
I used to be like, I fucking need it. I need to accomplish um, a big thing in a small amount of time uh, over the next month or two two months. And if it doesn't happen, I'm worthless. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm the one wing kid that's like, you're a piece of shit, you one wing bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm not saying you do that. I'm just saying. No, I, I feel the same. No, I, feel I, the same I did. I I've been I've been doing that, and because I been lucky enough to get a therapist over this fucking thing because i was war zone all day <laughs> <laughs> no working out we love you call of duty we're not <laughs> trying to talk trash about we you love we're you, just but saying we love you too much yeah vice it's, it's a vice. Yeah. too much too much uh yeah dude I, I need i needed like to get pulled out of this like hole i i didn't even know i was in and yeah. um the more i accepted that life change like this and i can't get back the old shit and i'm in this new person and I'm doing things in a new way. It's one day at a time. You know yeah, man. Creatively, relationship-wise, my mental health, physical health, all of it, one day at a time. I think a lot of the world is seeing that now because, you know, I mean, you hear, you know, I'm sure you guys heard the news too. If you pay attention to the news, it's like there's the labor shortage, labor shortage. Yeah. But like people are starting to realize like, listen, I'm not fucking doing this job for yeah, I'm not $12 an hour. Like. And people are having a hard time hiring people. And like, dude, I've heard yep. they're like crazy, like $10,000 bonus if you stay for two months. Like, you know, like, like you can make as much as a man, like being a manager of like a fast food joint. And oh like, you God. can make like, you can like, they're offering that now because like people just don't want it. Cause it's like, yeah. dude, like they tasted what it was like not to have to do it. I think they realized like before the pandemic with the whole, like, you know, essential workers yeah, and like cheering yeah. for them yeah. and all this shit. It's like, dude, like these people, like, you know. I've worked fast that. food. I've done that was my first job. I worked at McDonald's. It was my first job. It's not an easy really? job. Really? It's not an easy job. Yeah, it's not I don't easy. care how many people say no way. you're flipping burgers, dude. whatever. I get it's it. It's all day. It's just dude. fucking all day. Dude, you have to make everyone ha- you have to make everyone happy. Dude. <laughs> That's like literally food service is just you, you know have what to make everyone blows happy. my mind. <laughs> I have a Chick-fil-A two minutes from my fucking place. Oh damn. Dude, the nicest people. <laughs> I fell in love with the Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A line. You already did. Dude, it's like the nicest fuck. I don't get how they do it. And it's a line. They're always out, so nice. Out to the highway, nicely. dude. They're always yeah. so nice. Well, they're getting paid nicely because yeah, I guess they could just get paid nicely. Probably. Yeah. Better than, but it's crazy, man. I haven't been. It's hard. Yeah, I haven't been to any. It's not me gloating about my health or No anything, fast food. I, I haven't no. had any fast food in a you while. You should so gloat about really it, honestly. You should make, make me feel like shit. Like, <laughs> no. I gotta dude, get I miss, bro. I miss fried chicken sandwiches, bro. I miss it. But I really, dude, I don't fuck around with food but, no more. But really, like, no, man, I'll, I'll have one. I'll have, have one. But really, man, it's like, like it's literally like a three minute like enjoyment. <laughs> yeah. It's three. It's, it, dude, really it's, think it's about it, bro. Forty five seconds for me. Well, did you hear? Um, forty five seconds. And then later, you're like, <clears throat> they opened. Uh, what was it? Like a White Castle or something in Florida? It's like the first one. They were, they opened like a couple months ago, and like that shit was like the line was <laughs> like the, for White Castle. White Castle, there's like a million by me. Yeah. I never go. Yeah. I haven't been to White Castle since <laughs> I've like never 2012. Been like it's been like forever. It's funny, man. Uh, we go crazy over shit. Like the the quick satisfaction stuff. Yeah, man. I yeah. want that hit. That's why, like the with the feature film. Like I've been trying to write a short, and I'm still like, oh yeah. I can't even like yeah. think about something more than like a, well, a you month. have an idea you don't know how to translate yeah. it you don't and know. I always go back to the same thing and I'm like I gotta, I gotta work on it or maybe like is the idea not like there or good enough that I can't like write about it more but... is the idea not good enough and also can I actually do it because yeah. I think people are scared to write things myself included things like that, are that you can't really like that you can't right now see yourself doing yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i mean like i have feature ideas i'm like oh i don't know if we could afford that but it's like <laughs> yeah. you got to get rid of the idea that you're actually making it just write the story that you want to write like what do you see happening to these people what do you see this culmination of events like wh- where, where do you see this going whatever it, it takes place on fucking mount everest and you got to feel yeah. like you have like this shot of like an over like just a drone shot like throughout mount everest and like <laughs> you're following them up the mountain or whatever like Oh, who cares? You can't afford it. Just write it at least. Yeah, you know, whatever. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. someone can afford it. <laughs> someone will will pay for that. True. If it's compelling enough and yeah. you do a good if job it, at least it, writing it. Dude, that's it, what you know? I believe, bro. It's about the story. If the story is good enough, dude, if you execute well enough, if you I, focus on telling a good story, like that, the money's going to come. The people are going to come. You're gonna, it's, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. I don't mean to talk bad about any form of art or whatever it's everyone's expression but there are literal dog shit films actual dog shit movies. preach yeah. dude literal dog shit fran- say all franchise but like just back. really are- shitty movies that are being made with a million dollar budgets that are just like 
absolute just fast food. They dude. are fast food movies, you know. Literally, like, you know. like thousands of one star Netflix oh, movies. I don't nothing, know what Netflix is doing now. Nothing bro. drives no me more I mean? crazy. Yeah. Nothing drives me more crazy. But hey, you know what? People in the industry are. Do you need three Sharknado? Money. <laughs> There's three Sharknado. I don't want to say Sharknado, but yeah. I mean, do you need three? Yeah. Yeah. One was good enough. You had Tara Reid in it. It was fine. It was Whatever. Fun. It was funny. It was in a bad way. You know, it's fine. It's good. It's good in a bad way. <laughs> good Whatever. in a bad way. Tommy Wiseau. But like, yeah. Well, he's a different breed. <laughs> Netflix is like, yes. <laughs> but yeah. Yes. But they're, they're like green lighting all these like things they're with like you know a lot of stuff. But you know what? I can't really hate it because guess what? I'm a nobody. Also, yeah. like, who the fuck am I? And so it's like if I had an opportunity to work on something like that, I would probably take it and I'd probably be proud of it. I probably want to tell people that I'm working on something like that. Yeah. So I guess that's like the kind of like, you know, struggle, I guess. It's like mm-hmm. how do you like, you know, it's like it's in one way it's good for the industry because people are working. It's a help, you know, but it's like how much content is too Dude, much content. I, I yeah. got to I got to say, bro, like with that specifically, I just think like we shrink ourselves so much, dog. Like like I would beg to be on a on a Sharknado three a year ago, I would have begged. I would have been like, dude, I'll do anything. Just pay me and like, I, like I, I get to yeah. act. Like, I'll be, please, please. Right. I just want a career. I just want a shot at a, at a terrible story. Like I'm gonna elevate the fucking thing. Right. I'm not. You know, I we're one piece of a big puzzle, and it starts with story. And if the story sucks, the, we could shoot the best shit. We could act our asses off. For for me, dog, like I just gotta stop shrinking myself, bro. I just gotta stop saying I'd be so lucky if they think I'm good enough to be in that greenlit one star, you know, three line role. That's fucking so embarrassing, and uh, to me, like in uh, that role would be, and. Uh, yeah, man, I just don't want to, I don't want to shrink myself. I don't want to, I, I, I want to stop saying like, who am I? What, like, I don't deserve, I don't, I'm, I don't have a capability or I don't have a, a right to tell a story on a bigger scale because I want it to reach people because I believe I'm putting all the effort into, it's not a fast food thing. It's not a, I want money quick. It's not a, how do we parlay this into a three picture deal with Paramount? We can attach this person, this, and then we're going to fucking, it's not that. It's about the story affecting people because of what, how, how much blood, sweat, and tears and personal shit we put in it, specific stuff, and how we craft it, like, technically. Like, it, it, it's like a, a, a good sculpture. Like, anyone can make a fucking sculpture and just sell it. You know, there's, there's millions of artists out there. There's right, millions yeah. of fucking artists, actors, DPs, painters, writers, and, and we're saying easier to do it now than ever. A hundred percent. And we're saying like people are just getting like the yeah we'll we'll take because they know someone or they have some connection or they hire a person that's a name or whatever and then it's greenlit mm. and then we're good. This is the Hollywood system. I think we we bring up a lot here. Yeah. I just think like we're so inundated with that stuff and we're thinking to ourselves like who are we man like we we made two shorts like like we made yeah. six shorts you know throughout our fucking career but like. What is it though? Like what – like is that going to have any lasting value? And I think about that a lot and I think about the idea that like how far art has come from the last century. Yeah. Because a lot of that stuff in the last century, paintings and books and stuff like that, like that's all like, you know, what do I have? I have a Vimeo link. <laughs> right. Like what the fuck does that mean? In 75 years when I'm fucking dead, like is anyone going to click on that Vimeo link? Right. Right. Where, how does that get preserved? Is that going to affect – does that even mean anything 75 years from now? Is someone going to watch it and feel any type of relevancy to like their life that they're living now? That's why a lot of the great art, a lot of the great films and like, you know, all that stuff from like the 40s and the 50s and the 60s, a lot of that like, you know, French New Wave, whatever, like films that have been preserved and are in criteria and all that stuff like, you know, I don't know if they were thinking about this stuff but they were making stuff that like people – who were born at way after they died <laughs> yeah, yeah. was like, no, this is relevant and we should keep it culturally relevant for people to learn a lesson or to learn something or understand something about their humanity. So that's why a lot of those films are still around. And that's why you have like the library of Congress who preserves films and like other arts of, you know, work of arts and stuff. 
And I'm just thinking, I'm like, dude, here I am with the fucking Vimeo link. Like, you know, 75 years, 100 years, 200 years. Like, where does this end? Like, no right. one's going to – I'm not going to print that stuff on a, on a roll of film or a cassette, you know? Like, you know, the, the people that have made those things that have lasted the test of time, like, they've made some fucking – sour grapes too. like they made Absolutely, some terrible pieces dude, I mean, and your body of work is nowhere near finished like this is the beginning of a thing it's not even it's the, sure it's like just yeah. just the birth of an infant basically an artistic inf- like we're artistic infants in this fucking world of art and we still have to do all the hopefully the rest of our lives you get to tell whatever kind of art we're trying to express um I just, I, yeah. My point is, I just, I just don't want us to to believe we we're not capable of that. I think we're, yeah. I mean, no, I understand. That. Yeah, I think we're very capable. I think we have yeah. the skill set, at least amongst our group of you know, peers and Definitely. stuff. Like, we can easily, can ease, not easily. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. But it is feasible for us to do the type of things that we want to do. Mm-hmm. I think we're smart enough, and we've gone through enough, and we've done enough <laughs> like short stuff that we can finagle something yeah. or at least find a way to like you know make things happen and i think y- you only get that type of experience by doing shitty short films and right. student films right. and stuff right. like Throwing so that's like then, the wall, yeah. yeah so that's like you know that's literally what we've been doing because we didn't i didn't learn shit in Dude, school we i've were, covered this in other episodes we were just like a like a ball of energy just like let's fuck it dude i have an idea right like when we we're younger we were just like let's make it yeah, Let's I mean, dude, in. I was watching, or at least Jordan told me he watched like one of my old films, and like it was like a thirty-minute thing. Is where I want to be in twenty fourteen. Yeah, seven, yeah, six, yeah. seven years ago, dude, I shot and wrote and directed that thing <laughs> and edited the thing, and that was my my biggest project. I had a ton minutes. of dialogue, I had a ton of characters, I had a ton of yeah, like things, man. and like you know, it was like. I, I look back and I'm like, I don't know if I can do that now. Like, I'm, I'm so like, I'm, I'm so far detached. Like, I don't know if I can fucking do that. Yeah. yeah. But like, back then, yeah, man, I was like, I want to try it all. I want to do everything. I want to do everything. Like, I just yeah. want to try and get it all done in like my way. Just I want to do it my bundle way. Bundle like, of energy, dude. Yeah, and then like I don't know what happened, and then I don't know. Maybe I drank too much beer. Maybe no, I man. smoked too much. I'm just like I don't I think know. It's bro. human. I think I think we're just going through a change. We're becoming adults, and it's it's like real, real fucking adults, and that comes with a lot of a lot of different. When we were in college, it was just like we got our part time gigs, and we're and we're busting I'm our ass learning. trying to make things. And if I and if it sucks and it fails, whatever. I'm a student. Yeah, it's a man. student film. Yeah, Whoever yeah, fucking yeah. cares. I'm I turned thirty in like seven weeks, <laughs> so like it's it's at that time where I'm just like, well. Now would be the good time to start making things yeah. that matter to you yeah, yeah. and that matter to other people. And you should start thinking about that. Like you're, yeah. if you're going to keep creating the type of art that you have been so invested in for the last, I don't know, 10 years, mm-hmm. if you're going to keep doing that, make it something that, you know, 70 years from now, when you're dead and you're, wa- you're a ghost and you're watching everyone, like, are they enjoying it? Uh-huh. Do they like it? Like, are they relating to it? Yeah. I hope this is still relevant to the world that I grew up in yeah. and lived in before I left. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. But, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time will tell, right? Yeah. You, you don't know until you actually yeah. make it and you put it out there. So. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's really that's what right. it is. Yeah, man. So. I think that's the thing of the moment, you know? We just got to live in this fucking moment. You man. have to. You have to. It's hard. 21, baby. It's hard, but... <laughs> You know, when shit hit the fan with COVID stuff, it's like, all right, how are we going to fucking change and make it better? We all did it. Well, we thought about our movie that we just finished and we're just like, well, no one wants to fucking see this shit right now, bro. We have this, we have like this whole like racial reckoning right now, like in the, in the country. And like, we have a lot of things as a nation that we're trying, like, who the fuck cares about our movie right now? You know what I mean? Like, why? Like, you know, so we kind of got hampered in that. Like, but dude, but I... How do you guys feel about shit opening up? Like, I feel like people are itching. Oh, yeah. I think people are fucking itching to, I mean, to like connect shit. again. As, to fucking, yeah. Things to happen, man. I think it's the time. I don't know about you guys, but it used to be where I felt weird seeing people together. Oh, me that. too. You know, yeah. it was like, it was that for time a long period. Yeah, time. for a really long time. Yeah. And, you know, now not so much anymore. But, you know, listen, um, as someone who's already had it, <laughs> I'm fully vaccinated now. And Same as these. Yeah, I think we're all, at, you know, and I think, you know, I know people, the honor system, like, you know, like, don't come in if you're not, you know, yeah, just wear your mask, yeah. you know, no one's really going to fucking listen to that. But, yeah. like, I like to think we're somewhere, you know, I know we have the variants and stuff that we kind of have to 
yep. air caution to whatever. Yeah. You know, I still wear my like. Listen, if the store has the sign, hey, please wear your mask. I'll wear the mask. Uh, yeah, I carry definitely. it with me. I always carry it with me. Sure. Whatever. When I hang out with my friends, if I go to a brewery, if I go somewhere and no one else is wearing, I'm not going to wear it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just one of those things where, at the end of the day, you're going to have to get back to it. You're not going to wear that. You're going to have to, dog. You're not going to wear that for the rest of the day. I have all my masks on my like dashboard. (laughs) Dude, I took them today. I was like, I just put them in the glove box. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, if I need it, I need it. If I got it. If you need it, you need it. And you know what? I would hope that this whole thing has taught people hey, listen, because in Asia and other countries in the West, It's been the norm. If you have yeah. a cold, you, you wear a mask. mask. You, you, you know, yeah, you look weird as shit. <laughs> like, if you're you the stay only home. one train. Like, like the, stay home, you know. Yeah. But, you know, in America, you can't do you gotta that. You got to go to work. You got to go to work. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. yeah. I think this pandemic is, is teaching, you know, a lot of, of people, and not just people, businesses mm. and stuff, like how, you know, again, with the wages and, and, and you know, finding workers yeah. and stuff, like, I would like to think that there's going to be some shift in, like, the way people, you know... I have friends who worked in the city before the pandemic and like they're not going back until next year. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like they're like January 2022 is like when wow. they're coming back. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just one of those things where it's like, you know. Some people, people are, are never going back. Some people, yeah. some businesses are like, some it's businesses cheaper are, for us if you stay home. Exactly. Yeah. So I think, you know, that and just like, you know, I think people are a little bit more, a little bit more attentive to like, you know, the people around them. Definitely. You know I what I mean? So. Like the social distancing thing, I would hope that that's kind of kept because I don't fucking like being around people. Dude. Yeah, I, don't, I, I really don't shoulder, like being dude. around people. No, for yeah. real, it's like we haven't. I mean, I don't want to like. I don't mean this in any way of like we deserve or we should fucking go through some shit. But I feel like it's been a long time since something like really fucking in the like, world man? affecting like the world. Well, know? I mean, what was it? Spanish flu. Even before, like polio. Yeah, you had polio. polio, you had measles, yeah. you had all this shit in the 50s. Like, yeah, man. I think they said it's every 50, 55 years a new pandemic, like basically yeah. happens somewhere in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the nature of it. It's just the nature of it because you know why? We're all just fucking bacteria. Yeah. <laughs> we're all just pieces of bacteria stitched yeah, together. Really and can yeah. like, avoid it. I'm like, lucky just, to be here, bro. That's yeah, how man. I take it. Yeah. Lucky to be here. And unfortunately, yeah. during this pandemic, we lost a lot of people. Yes, sir. Un- like, n- unnecessarily. Like, there are a lot of things that could have been done to prevent people losing their lives. And Yeah. But you know what? I still feel like we don't really know too much about this virus. You Dude, know right? I mean? like, it's we, like, I feel we, like we're, we're the tip of the iceberg. Like, we still don't learning. really know we anything. We still know nothing. I mean, for the past year, all the, the, the focus has been on is reducing infections. Yeah. Keeping How do you stop getting low. people from getting sick? Now we're at that point where people are stopping. The infection rate's dropping, whatever. But now, like, people like me who have these symptoms, we don't know what we this know. is. Yeah, you know, man. I don't know what this is. Like, No one knows. They have to research this, and it's yeah. going to take another couple of years. But I feel like now at least they have the resources to kind of dedicate their time to that. Yeah. And, you know, because we're I've cutting heard, the infection rate. So. Dude, I've heard horror stories about the long hauler thing where yeah. Yeah, man. people have been losing their teeth and... That I heard too. Yeah, I'm pain them all over their body. Can't that move. That ain't me, baby. Yeah, man. That Can you me. imagine that? Like I said, I I I had it, and it sucked, and it was bad. But like, it could have been way worse. Yeah, man. I could have been sent to the hospital. I could have been on a respirator. It yep. could have been, been way, way worse. worse, dude. Like, I for me, I was sitting at home and I was just watching movies. I watched Sideways again, which I love that movie, dude. I love <laughs> it. Paul Giamatti's. He's fuck, dude, it's such a good movie. I would love to write a feature like that, dude. Just guys like, oh, I want to redo that movie, but go to a brewery instead of a winery. Oh, okay. Like, instead of going to a brewery in, like, New York instead of, like, yeah. Los Angeles, like, wine country or, like, California wine country. But um, that that was my quarantine, you know. I, you know, I was fucking getting high on gummies and shit. Just fucking. <laughs> well, now, dog. Pop down. Shout out. Shout out to the homegirl, Michelle Emanuela, Ali Rota, the homegirls. Yes. Um, and the homeboy Jordan yes. Ray. Yeah, man. Uh you're doing some stuff yeah you got a thing coming yeah, up yeah yeah another directing job another directing yes it'll be gig. my first time directing something that I didn't write which yeah. is exciting there we go. it's good to know you know this is new for you man it is new it is new and you know I'm excited it's crazy again because we are literally coming off the heels of the pandemic, yeah, and possibly the hottest summer <laughs> yep. the Northeast has seen in a couple of years. Yep. It's like, oh, what's happening? We uh, shot. I don't know how much you guys talked about this last time, but we had shot something last weekend. You know, a little teaser thing that we kind of like put together. Yeah, and, and, yeah. There we go. You know. But no, it's great. You know, um, I don't know her. You know, what I mean, I literally just met her and Allie like yeah, yeah. just a couple days ago. Yeah, but. 
I was on a job with Jordan. We were down the shore, and I like my phone went off, and I got a Gmail notification, and it was I thought it was spam. I'm like, okay, I get it. You want to see my short film? I'm like, whatever. Like, no, so it's a bit fanciful. Like, yeah, 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 whatever. You got favorite. the film freeway link. You got the film freeway link. You know. You know. You yeah, know. you already fucking know. <laughs> Leave me alone. But I looked at it, and it looked organic. It looked like a really long email. Yeah. She had written this really long email about like, you know. She saw our work. She saw that she watched Jordan's reel and saw that I did a lot of this, directed a lot of stuff that he did and saw that it was you and she meant, you know, name dropped you and stuff. And I had seen her name before and I knew that she was on the podcast before. Like I'd seen that like she was on there. So I'm like, okay, but I don't know anything about her. Yeah. I literally know nothing about her or Allie. Or like I don't know any of these people. But she made a pretty convincing, you know, I'm like, hey, you know what? It feels good to be appreciated without asking it's good to know that people actually just look up our things and watch it and they're like, hey, we want to create something and we kind of want you to be a part How of it. How about that? Yeah. And I'm just like coming off this pandemic and again, going back on a full circle thing, like, you know, literally recovering with these symptoms and just like, you know, not really having anything. We did our movie in November of 2019, right before the pandemic. And we haven't, I haven't done anything since. Yeah. Same. I haven't shot like a film or anything same. like since. So I'm just like, you know what? I didn't write the thing. Yeah. And I'm like, let me read the script. And I read the script. It's good. You know, like, I, it reminded me a lot of my one of my movies where I want to be that I did six, seven years ago. We just talked about it. And I'm like, you know what? It would be a good way to kind of, like, retranslate that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of fit in the same vein of, like, what I've been doing. You know what I mean? So, like, I yeah. was like, yeah, why not? Like, let's 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 try let's it. And, it. You know, see if you can raise some money. You know, that, that was a big yeah. thing. I'm like, yeah. I was a dark girl. I ain't, yeah. I ain't raising nothing. It's cool because, like, like... I met you in college and then we started doing our thing and we're like this. And now like I met Michelle through acting school and Ali and they met you through the pod yep. and now they're reaching out to you. It's like this network yeah, that's building. Well, that's what I said to Jordan because she na- – like listen, if she didn't mention Jordan, I wasn't going to bother him with it. You know what I mean? I would have been like, if she didn't mention him, I'd be like, whatever. She wants me to shoot and direct it. Whatever. That's fine. I'll just do it. (laughs) Whatever. But she mentioned both of us and she said we, she, they both watched both of our reels and they both really liked what we did and she saw the movies that we did. She watched the trailer for all me there and stuff and I'm just like, you know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate people who, who take the time and actually, you know, it wasn't just some like bullshit like it, I yeah. can tell at least from what I can tell. Yeah. I could be wrong. She ain't a bullshit or not. Yeah, I'm just like, you know what? And it's cool. It's like, why did we shoot the Rose Garden? Why did why did me and Jordan agree to shoot the Rose Garden? Why did we shoot I'll meet you there? Like, why did we agree to do this? Oh, obviously because we wanted to network. We wanted people to see it and be like, hey, we like that. It could service us in a way. Right. That was literally the whole point. So like when I got the email, I'm like, isn't this what we wanted? Mm-hmm. Like, after doing these Look movies and, like, yeah. editing, it's like, why? Isn't this what we wanted? So, like, why don't we just, like, you know, whatever, do it. Like, you know, we'll see, like, you know, whatever. They have a little Indiegogo thing going. We'll see how much money they get. We'll do a... Funded, baby. Little did we know. Uh, dude, like, when we uh, when we had first talked to them, it was, like, funded at, like, two grand. <laughs> I'm like, okay, two grand. I'm like, yeah, I guess we can make it work. I don't know. Like, we'll, we'll see. You know, whatever. And the next time I talk to them, they're, like, at eight Gs. I'm just like... There you go, man. I'm like, all right, well... I guess this has changed a little bit since yeah. the last time we talked, yeah. you know, but um, it should be good. It should be a fun time, a little challenging just because of the elements of the script and the story and there's some things, you know, yeah. we've done before, but like we're not completely well versed in. It's not like we do this all the time. Yeah. At least, you know, I'm not going to give anything away, but like the type of story that they're trying to tell and she had written and she works on the script for two years. So it's like, how do I as a director try and, uh, you know, service her and let her express herself the way that she had on the page while injecting my own point of view yeah Mm. because again you work on this for two years you don't really you know you're kind of faded you know you don't you know you need need a set of eyes so me and jordan have had a set of eyes on this thing so you know you know we'll we'll, we're we're going to test some things and it's cool we really want to push ourselves i'm excited to see you guys do it like to see the like you guys work as like the crew come back together kind of thing 
If it stays this hot, though, I don't know if I'm going to make it, though, because <laughs> motherfucker, this shit is hot in Jersey right now, and I'm, I might collapse. It's shooting in Jersey, right? Jersey film. We're trying. Come on. Let's go, see. man. It has Come to be on, Jersey. Man. You know, Let's go. Homegrown. We live here. We live here. Homegrown. You know? I know she's out in Queens and Allie's up in that Upper East Side and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, you got to come over the river. You got to hop the river. It's a little bit cooler too. Yeah. No, cool. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> the story they want to tell, you know, I envisioned it and I, I read it. And I'm just yeah, like, you know yeah, what? Yeah. This really does fit, you know, a yep. lot of the Jersey aesthetic that we have, yeah, man. have over here. I agree. So, I think it could be good. I think it could be a good thing. I just yeah. hope I don't fuck it up, you know? You won't, <laughs> man. Dude. You I mean, won't. You won't. The, yeah. Your work speaks, you know what I mean? It might be. And even me. from knowing you. Like both of you and everyone that you fucking know. It's like, uh, I have no fucking like doubt that any person in the circle can like fucking make like amazing shit. Yeah. Like I'm being real. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone is fucking well versed. Everyone fucking has the passion. Everyone has the love and the fucking technique and talent to do it. So like I said, let's go. There is a lot of dog shit content. You know, yeah, man. A lot of dog yeah, shit. Man. And I don't mean to say that in a really derogatory way, but there was a lot of bad but things. say it. Just say it, just, dude. Just <laughs> bad things. There are a lot of bad pieces yeah. of like yeah, whatever man. art, you know. Some people might consider my stuff bad. It's not, you know, that's fine. And that's oh, totally fair. okay with me. Mm. That's totally fair. But like, if they're able to do it, why can't we? You exactly. know what I mean? That's like the, the thing. And like at least we have a point of view and we have a perspective and we have a certain style and we have a certain way of seeing things in the world that we would like to translate for other people to kind of understand us. Yeah. And I think me and Jordan kind of have a very symbiotic. Definitely. You know, like we, we butt heads sometimes, but it's fine. Like it's, yeah, but it's good. Yeah, but when you guys good are thing, you know? working, it's like you're doing things without saying yep. almost. It's like one is picking up the other's yeah. cues and – Right? Like you yeah, saw. Yeah, man. It's, 100%. It's like bang, bang, when we were bang, shooting on each other, there, bang. it's like it's things just fall And I roll with it, man. He wants to get a shot that I didn't think of. Go for it. I don't care. Exactly. As long as you have the time and we're not as long as we're exactly. you know, fine. Like if, you, if you're okay setting everything up, <laughs> yeah, we'll fucking do it. No, yeah. Dude, like whatever. <laughs> and there are times that I'm just like, oh, I want this shot. And he'll be like, do you want that shot though? Really? Really? Do you yeah, want that? I, re- I love those moments. And I'm like, yeah. I guess I don't if you're going to give but me that. But sometimes you're like, dude, no, I do. I want that. Yeah, there are times where I'm like, get the fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> and there, I'm sure there will be times here I'm just like, well, because I like to make the movie in the edit also. Yeah. yeah. I don't really You're connect everything in, in the moment. You Think know, I like everything. to have bag ups and stuff. So, it's like, hey, if I want this shot, maybe I might not use it. I most likely won't use it. Did you all right? Did you hear that? What? Is that thunder? I think it might be Yeah, it's raining. supposed to be storming, man. Oh, no. Shit. Come on. Hey, man, we're almost two... We're all, basically two hours. In. We're wrapping. Oh, my I God. Wanna, we're wrapping up. I want to end it with a question we got from a good friend. <laughs> Do Matthew it. Brent. Shout out, shout out. Journey hey, of a Matthew Hero. Brent, dude, you yeah. Know Matthew Brent? Oh, at yeah, Journey of a Hero you, on Instagram. Go Journey follow of him. A hero. He's... Last time I saw him was at our little fundraiser. Thing That's right. At the West. That's that was right. the last time I saw him. It was a good time. He's the best. We love he's you. He's awesome, bro. man. Yeah. The best. He asked, "What defines a worthwhile life?" Ooh. What defines a worthwhile and he just hits it. life? Go for it, Dave. <laughs> man, I. That's think, all you, dog. I think it's it's got to be around like, I mean, this conversation has brought us to this point, but like, doing. Doing the thing that you want to be doing and never shrinking yourself or your voice or your your heart for others or for, for an idea about how others perceive it or a fear of failing. Like, if you're able to just sing that fucking song in the car, like, the loudest you possibly can, then th- that day is fulfilling. Like, that moment's fulfilling. You're expressing yourself fully. In your work, if you get the chance to like do a thing, do it to the, the fullest extent you can do it because you're only going to get it once. It's it, That's my favorite part about this shit, dude. We can never go back to the I'll meet you there set and do it with those people again the same way. In the It'll same never come out the same. It'll never come out the same. We can't have those moments back. That's the whole point of art. It's like it's expression in a moment. You know, you can freeze it. You can put it somewhere. You can let people watch it again and again and again or you can go to watch, look at a painting again and again and again. But the artist gets to express it once. And I think there's something to say about like fulfilling life means like doing, saying, behaving, expressing more, more so than anything, expressing yourself, being yourself and expressing it. 
as as loudly not 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 thrown in people's faces, but just being yourself and in your expressions, fucking going full tilt and not worrying about what anybody thinks. Because at the end of the day, you are so much bigger than you think you are. You are so much more valuable, huge. You're 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 unbelievably talented. You know, there's something in each one of us, I believe, that like no one else has. Get there, dig that up, like express that. That's the thing we're all dying to hear. So that's, I think, a fulfilling life is is is, is mining for that thing and expressing it. Damn, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> I got lost in that. Yeah, that was awesome. What's your take, Mike? <sighs> I'm quiet over there. Yeah, you're quiet, dog. Huh? Fulfilling, fulfilling life, man. There's a lot of questions I I have I have these couple questions I asked Jordan but like I know it was his podcast but I didn't really get to talk to him about it. But um, hostile takeover. Like what you were saying about like getting to the root of that. Like what do you want to fucking put out there and like live in that fucking moment and like get it out there and whatever whatever whoever it reaches like that's what it's about. Yeah. Um. I think, like, I want to just say, do what you love. You know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes to the point where it's like, it's like, oh, but I want to, like, be recognized for what I, like, I do. You know? The thing that I love. Right. But, like, does that take away from that? You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. I want to find a life that I can just keep doing what I want to do. It's an inner thing. Yeah. And it's just, it doesn't matter if it's seen by people. Yeah. I just want to be at peace with who I am as a person. I want to be okay with that. And if other people like that, then hey, we're all on the same ride. But we all get on the same bus. Yeah. And we keep living life. That you know sounds I mean? fulfilling, man. Who cares if it's, if it really fucking, does it really matter if I'm posted on a fucking billboard? I don't really think it matters. No. You if know you get what the I mean? attention that you think that like people want I mean, like, yeah. to give and stuff. I think yeah. that's what it's about, man. That's you know what? It's I just, funny. I just want to be happy. That's, yeah, no, I think everyone should aim to be happy. It's funny though, because, and I guess it's a good way to end it because it's full circle going back to my little COVID discussion. But when I had COVID. These are free episodes. These are free right now. For now. For now. (laughs) For now. (laughs) Starting with me though. (laughs) There's going to be a little. This is only on Patreon. Premium fee, yeah, Patreon. Um, Subscribe now. $10 a month. Um, (laughs) When I had COVID and I was thinking about everything that I was missing. I don't know if you guys ever get that I, that that feeling of just like if you're if like on a day when like you're bored as shit and you're stuck in your house and there's really nothing for you to do and you think about the things that everyone else is probably doing right now. Oh my god. And just that feeling of FOMO and like you're not really contributing to the world or society and like you're just kind of a piece of shit whatever, you know, it's like that 99% of my time but whatever, you know. But I often think about like, you know, what it is people do. And dude, I was thinking about just like humans in general and like what people are doing. You have to imagine just like at least from, from what where I was, I was like, dude, like people are like, there's some guy or some like lady like trying to bake a perfect cheesecake right now somewhere. They're spending so much time trying to make a cheesecake. Meanwhile, there's someone trying to paint a fucking painting that, you know, of a forest or some shit that they that they went in and like you know they're spending all this time and like graffiti artists and then you think about like people who are fishing and you think about people just how the whole world kind of just like uh rotates and how we all benefit from the things that everyone does regardless of how big or small the action is oh man and i thought about that when i had covid because i was stuck in my room not contributing to the world you know what i mean i'm stuck in my room on a, on a standstill I'm like i have this virus that everyone's fucking scared of i can't talk to anyone i'm alone right now and i'm thinking like what is happening outside my window there were people it annoyed the shit out of me but they were like cutting a tree or something and i'm like these people are like you know helping this family with whatever tree problem they had maybe it was leaning too much and it might crash on their house one day, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then you think about the teachers and you think about instructors and you think, and I just started thinking about like everyone who's like working right now. Cause I wasn't working. I had to take two weeks off of my job. Like I was not working, mm-hmm. but it's like, you know, everyone who works and like you all contribute at least some part in society where it benefits someone else, whether or not you realize Absolutely. it. I worked customer service in a cubicle and like, I would fucking talk to people who had camera issues, like old people and like, fucking North Dakota or whatever. It, I don't know. I didn't think much of anything, but maybe 
I'd like to think that I actually help them or at least one person. It's you know, a like, Yeah, like a service. Like I think we're all in that, you know, again, with the service industry and essential workers, it's like, yeah, you work at McDonald's, like whatever. It's like, dude, people come to McDonald's all the fucking time and they're trying yeah. to get fed. I think you know that's what I mean? the whole purpose, dog. It's like there's so much happening in this world and there is so much that you just like can't even really fathom. Think of all the action that's happening outside right now. People are driving to get to places. Yeah. There are certain things. There are parties. There are like, cater- like you know, just a ton of things. Food related. It doesn't matter. Like just things that people are trying to get done for the sake of other people. And you're wondering where do you fit in in that little microcosm of like helping other people. And it's funny because artists usually have the tendency to be like, well, this doesn't fucking matter. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, oh, what nice. am I doing? Like, I'm making shitty music. That's like, you a know, bad whatever. artist, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, dude, like, you know, the people, who, like, you know, ner- people who are like, you know, in the healthcare industry and like, you know, other things like that, like, they use art to escape. Yeah. And like, people like actually value that stuff. And like, yeah. it's funny because I have a lot of friends who are not artists. They are very, very you know, smart people. You know, education wise, they're very smart. They're working in fields where they're making six figures. They're in labs. They're like doing all this shit for humanity that I think is like, wow, yeah. you're actually fucking helping people. Like you're like you're in the healthcare. Like you're you're a scientist. Like you're wow. But then I have people coming up to me like, hey man, like you know, I watched your short film the other day and like that like you know I had a break in between like my shifts and stuff and I I saw that and it was like it was great. Like thanks. Like yeah. good. And I'm just like. Oh, that's cool. Like, I did something for that person who I think is helping the world spin. And meanwhile, I think I'm not doing shit with my life. I'm not doing anything productive. And I feel like the things that I make and the things that I produce, they don't really have an impact on people. But they do. They do. They do. Whether or not I want to see it or not or acknowledge it on a daily basis, I'd like to think that someone's at least benefiting – when I when I was a musician, you know, when I did a lot of music back in like, you know, because I started this shit back in like eighth grade, beginning of high school. Dude, I had some girl from like Minnesota who like had my, remember MySpace songs? Yeah. Had the, the one yeah, profile song? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, I found her and she had my song on, as her profile song. What? This girl I've never talked to. Uh-huh. She met, I think she followed me uh, and that's how I found her page. But like she had my song on her like thing and she, like I looked and she was like from Minnesota or whatever. And like, it's crazy to think that there's someone maybe on the other side of the world who's like listening to me right now. Yep. And it's like, right you know, this second. Like, yeah, right this second. Maybe they'll listen to this podcast. Yeah. Who knows? You know what I mean? Like you just don't know. Yeah. The metrics don't really tell that story because it's only, you know, it's all very binary. It's all like, you know, like who clicks this and how long do they listen? But you know, you never know. Yeah. You just don't know. The world is so huge and expansive and there's a lot of things going on and everyone's a part of it. Whether or not you like it or not, you know, you like it or not, you're, you're doing something. Whether, whether you think you are or you're not, someone is being affected by you at any given second and the things that you do in this life. So, I guess if you want to live a fulfilling life, it's more like what is it that you can contribute to other people? How, how is it that you can make living on this little fucking burning rock that we're on? How do you make that you know, a little bit more easy for people? to to forget about or to really tune into and i think whether it's art or you're in the service industry or um just anything construction like you know built this fucking building you know what i mean like we all we all overlook who builds the public bathrooms that we do like you know civil engineers and yeah. shit you know what i mean like there's a lot of there are so many things that you can do in this world that just seems so like you pass it by it's just like you don't think about it because it's everywhere but you don't think about it but people have done, like, you know, people spend time. They spend time of their their lives, like, figuring that shit out. How does this playground, how is this playground going to benefit yeah, the health of our kids? You know what I mean? couch we're sitting on. The Dude, benches, like, some person on the, like, some person in God knows where. And that's their, like, fucking, oh, that's I That's their Should life. They contribute their time and, and their people buy it. Yeah. yeah. They're like, I want someone to sit on this couch and mm-hmm. I want them to feel a certain way. It doesn't matter what industry, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're contributing to the world. And so I think if you want to live a fulfilling life, the number one thing is just to like think about what it is you're putting out into the world and how it's being perceived by other people. And I'm not saying that you have to be liked or it has, you know, it has to be liked or what you're doing has to be liked. It's more of just like how is it 
actually functioning in, in the real world because time is just passing. Yeah. You're, it's literally just passing. And guess what? We won't be here 7,500 years from now. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But like, what is it that we're doing now that people later on can be like, hey, that's cool. And I like, that's way back then. What is that? Fucking Garmin watch? I don't know what that is. We have microchips in our brains now. It's fucking 2142. You know what I mean? Like, but the idea is still the same. And it's been that way since the ancient Romans building yeah, coliseums and shit. So it's like being productive is a very general blanket statement. But like, what is it that you just want to give to people? Other people. Because that's yeah, what man. we live for is other people. That's really what it is. Yeah. 100%, man. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I had three beers. Hey, and I, and Matthew I, Brent? I, I drank a little two beers. Matthew Brent, that was for you, Thank baby. you, man. Shout out, Matty Appreciate Brent. the yeah. question. Thank you, dog. Yeah. Hey, yeah. anyone, anything else, Dave? That's it, dude. I'm good? That's the pot. Carl? It's hot as hell in here, dude. It's so Carl? Air conditioner is not like, you know. <laughs> it's on high. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. Thank, thank you for bro. having me again, guys. You are a gem. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, you're a gem. Dude. I love he you. Is. He is. We're going to have to cut a lot in this episode. No, it's fine. Somebody cuts. I'll be there. I'll be there all night. You are here. You'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you are here podcast episode 128. Right. I'm sorry to say goodbye, but this is the end. Find a podcast. You know where to find it. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, hit the video, anchor.fm, www.youhearpodcast.com. We get on 40 yeah. m like Formosasauce.com, the official sponsor of the You Are Here podcast. Go get y'all some. Mm. Hey, my name is Mike, and I'm signing out. My name is Dave. I love y'all. Please be kind to one another. I'm not saying shit. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>